welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. How's everyone doing? Welcome. Sorry, we, we ran that graphic for a while. Uh, that's okay. I don't know the date today. I'm unprepared. It is April the 18th. How's everyone doing? Thanks so much for dropping in. Uh, my sister just came through the door about five minutes ago. So there's going to be a cat crawling around in the background at some point. Cat's name is Humphrey. Humphrey's a good boy. Uh, and she's just going to be here for the weekend. So might be a bit, a couple things to figure out right at the top of this. Uh, cause I think she's going to be pushing off to somewhere, but she'll be back later tonight. So how's everyone doing? It's a long weekend for a lot of people. Friday is off in a lot of places. <laughs> Yay, Humphrey. How's it going to talk to you? Also, Tobo, cool music. Ah, oh, glad you like it. Also, Sarknar, how's you doing? How's your Thursday? Um... Yeah, it's a long weekend here in Quebec. We don't have the Good Friday off. I don't know what they call it. I think they don't have a religious name for it in most places. It's just called, like, holiday. Uh, but we have the Monday off, so uh, that's okay. It's going to be a good weekend. I'm pretty excited for it. We got some Neverland to play today. Yeah, it's Good Friday here. Oh, hey, already. Yeah, probably a lot of people already have the day off, depending on what side of the planet you're on. Uh, we're going to start with the deck list of the week. Today we're going to be playing some Kronos Protocol. We want to basically flatline some runners in some pretty fun ways. I think Complete Image was already taken, taken as a YouTube name. Yo, Manny, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, funny enough, this is not the first decklist of the week. I don't actually know how the decklists of the week are predetermined. And I can't tell if this was, uh, what's it called? If somebody was trolling or whether this was uh, not trolling. But specifically, somebody published this deck. It's a Steve Cambridge deck. And this was the decklist of the week for at least a day, maybe a couple of hours. And if you read the write-up, um, I don't know. I think this person might maybe doesn't know how to play, but they're talking about using Imp to trash code gates. It's a Baba Yaga deck, but it doesn't have. I don't know. It was super weird. Yeah, I don't know if this is an inside joke that I'm missing out, but there's like a bunch of different rules cues in here that were wrong, and then there's some weird stuff like two times crowdfunding. Anyways, uh, luckily this got changed. I was really worried for this to be the decklist of the week, uh, so it changed, and now it's actually Demolition Derby, which I've made a pretty good effort to be positive about Decklist of the Weeks, but this one I'm worried about uh, because, because it doesn't have a lot of money. This deck actually doesn't have sure gamble. The average cost for our, our cards around three to four credit. Oh, there's a cat crawling around. This is gonna be fun. Um, but we don't have sure gamble. We do have isolation as an econ card. I don't love this card, uh, but that's it. We have no daily casts. We have no liberated accounts. We just have dirty laundry and stim hack and isolation. I'm not sure how this is meant to happen. Am I missing something here? This deck has literally no money. Um, I don't know what's up. Dude, Isolation is great. Isolation is okay. It's just not Liberated Counts, Daily Cast, or Sure Gamble. So we're going to run into some problems <laughs> pretty quickly. Rob says, I think you should pilot for honor's sake. Empty ID. We're going to try Net Damage ID today, at least. Um, maybe that will help. See Chiashi, imp that stuff. Jester, how's it going? Imp those Chiashis. Yeah, if we see any Chiashi, we'll just imp it. It's fine. It'll be okay. Um, Jellyhead, how's it going? Had to stay up till 2.45 a.m. this week as I'm in Spain with my friend's wedding. Apparently I'm dedicated. Hey! Also, congratulations to your friend. Glad you can make it. Hopefully Spain is lovely. Um, anyways, we're gonna try this. The big new card in this deck is actually Demolisher. That's not right. Demolisher. Which is, uh, supposedly Edward Kim's console. Now, again, this is a very expensive card. It gives you a credit back when you trash things, and this can fire with Edward Kim's ability, so sometimes you get a credit back per run, but, like, legitimately don't know uh about how the money's gonna work out with this because this is a four credit console it's pretty expensive and then we have to stargate to get value we have to get into the remotes with some expensive programs like actually black orchestra is our only pretty bad one we also don't have i guess we have some card draw i don't know this is gonna be not a lot of money stargate's really good please just cut three cards for gamble i think i probably would do that the problem is I'd probably cut labor rates. I don't actually know what we're labor ratesing. Like, are we meant to be just labor ratesing isolations over and over again? Or the single forked? I don't know. Yeah, I think, like, this might be a non-game if we don't change it. Because there's literally no money. Like, I don't know how we're going to John Massonori in this deck. It's really cool, though. Torf Torf, how's it going? Kid is not sleeping. Now I can watch YouTube finally live. Greetings from Germany. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we'll try it once. The thing is, like, if we play against a hard-hitting news deck, we die uh, very quickly. Um, anything else, it's going to be bad. But yeah, this is probably going to be a non-game, and I'm going to be a bit negative about it. Be like, hey, well, we can't do anything, so... Demolition Derby. Edward Kim at least has a link, so we'll save all that money, right? 
let's go like even other copies like mars mining accident the mining accident would be really good in this sort of deck uh literally any econ card though ah fuck it do we just add econ cards chat what do you think do we change this one because like i don't see how we're gonna crowd funding three times a turn if there's a single ice yo saints here how's it going looking forward to seeing a cool idea all right how's it going welcome are we changing this or not i just don't think we have enough money at all like we literally don't have money I think we'll try it. Add Econ, it's a Jellyhead. Okay, that's a start. Go to 6P cards. That's a 60, oof. Give it one game, one game without changing. Okay, to be fair, does Ed King think about winning or only about breaking things? I think the latter. I think they're both related. But yeah, maybe if Eddie just trashes enough stuff, he'll feel okay about whatever happens. Okay, we'll try one. Maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe Sure Gamble really is a crutch, but uh, Liberty counts as a crutch, am I right? Yo, Jim, what up? So I'm going to try and widen this just a bit. Yeah, there's a cat in the background. I don't know if you saw that. There's a cat cam going on. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> so Humphrey's been here before once. Generally likes that chair. So I'm going to kind of leave this open for the chair. Yo, Chris, how's it going? It's going well. Thank you. Uh, Terrence, we definitely going to image. How are you doing? Opening hand again, like generally we would mulligan for money, but like money is going to be a problem. We're playing against Harsa Chandra, which is pretty awesome. We might actually get complete image. That means they're likely on hard hitting news or even sea source can be pretty scary. Uh, so we need money in our opening hand. So we're probably going to mulligan for dirty laundry, isolation and or uh, crowdfunding. That Maku is also kind of bad. This deck is more than likely to run three copies of IP block and even maybe wrap around. I don't know. Okay, well, that went from bad to worse. Why does this deck not have consume? Oh. First one, how's it going? Minus one STI, two Masonoria Stimhack. Yeah, I think that's definitely an option. I think I'd cut out, oh, excuse me if you heard that. I think I'd actually cut out as well um, copies of, uh, there's no way we need three labor rates. All right, they only have nine credits. We could consider face checking, we have a link. <laughs> Somebody pet the cat, we'll find it. Got anything cool that's HB? Need ideas for Saturday before I defeat the Arella stuff? I don't have any cool ideas for HB, unfortunately, I say it. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of HB I've been playing lately. I don't know. Mirror Morph seems really hard. I like Offer You Can't Refuse. I think that's a cute interaction. I just don't think it's good enough for a deck. Oh, this is going to be... I think we're just going to be as aggressive as possible. At least we can trash operations, which will help us. We don't have to deal with them. But, like, this is going to be brutal. So, Ice Carver. Inject Stimhack. Some of these cards are really playable. There's a really cool acid deck. Taki says. <laughs> Cats must be pet. The fully operational acid station style deck is fun. Oh, yo, uh, say it. I've been playing a bit. We trashed a special report. That means they're probably on three pointers. Could be on punitive as well. Uh, I've been playing a bit. If you play uh, custom biotics, I think red level clearance was really good for custom biotics. If you play custom biotics like a CI deck, so you play that thing that gives you plus four hand size, the fashion court, and then you play um, you play three copies of reconstruction contract and three copies of dedication ceremony. With red level clearance, it's super good because you can red level clearance to install one of your Recocos, get the click back, and then you can start doing ridiculous things. Double uh, dedication ceremony uh, uh, Vitruvius is crazy. You get six counters on it, so you can pull the whole combo from hand every turn. It's kind of nuts. It's super nuts. I'd actually try recommend that. I've been trying that a bit. I didn't have enough time. But that's Custom Biotics. Uh, it was a deck that was like okay. Even at Worlds last year, we were actually playtesting it, funny enough. I don't know how we're going to do with any of this. But like, oh, fuck me. The combo is really good. I don't think I've ever heard a deck idea start with if you play Custom Biotics. It's good though. I think you have one influence left after you do everything. So you got Inject, Event, I've Had Worse. They get the full credit swing they can put three advancements on a card hopefully this is not an ice wall wait is this any card oh an installed card okay whatever all right we got a beal damn we're good so if we hit i've had worse here we're going to draw into uh inject stim hack i've had worse uh no that's really that good i don't understand this deck we could actually play the whole deck with zero credits if we install john mastery start running through these i think we'll end up losing I remember sick after you play like 80 games. Oh, Mirror Morph. Yeah, I could see Mirror Morph being really fun once you got it down. Jellyhead says Biotics isn't terrible. 22 influence is slightly insane. I think that's a big thing with Engineering the Future having rotated. Uh, 
there's no longer the de facto best HB identity, which makes custom biotics a bit better. I like custom biotics cool ID. I used to play it over ETF for a while. It was not correct to do so per se when I did it. I remember the the what's it called? You were playing an Asa deck. No, sorry, a Seder deck. A King of Servers like two years ago? DJ, how's it going? Still up for a stream evening. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you have a holiday tomorrow. So we're gonna draw into all our shitty events. I'm not meant to be bitter about this deck. I think this deck idea is really cool. Like you can run a heavy destruction, Edward Kim. But uh, we just need to play money in it too because that seems important. Uh, we're just gonna play with zero credits. We may actually want to install the John Masonori, but at least this way they're gonna tag us. Cool thing about custom biotics is you still have 13 influence left after the playset of crowdfunding. <laughs> Hardware program event. All right, so we only lose three. So once we install the dem demolisher, demolisher, we're gonna make money running HQ. We access a toll booth. We have a David at some point. Fuck me, I don't want to do this. We have a non-game here, I think. I seriously don't see how this deck is playable, unfortunately. Like, you just need money to play the game. We probably actually should just install the Amakua down and start slamming so it pressures them because our accesses are not that good. They were Edward Kim good, but not amazing. And we know that we're going to draw a hard or a program will trash or mimic. We do have isolation, which is, again, not fantastic unless we have crowdfunding. So we're going to draw the program. Credit once. This actually seems important because we can win with this card. Uh, we're not gonna take damage. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do this. She shoots in my meta, and I'm seventy percent sure there's no gamble thing. It's just an oversight. Oh no way! Standard procedure. They're oh, we probably shouldn't have thrown an Amakua because they're definitely on Salem's hospitality. Mind you, this deck also has seventeen influence. If you haven't seen Harshandra's effect yet. And they also might be running other the fun tag cards, cards like uh, Bandwidth. So they gain four credits, they know everything in our hand. They also could be on complete image in theory. It's a bit harder. Jinja CB with three surveyors and three border controls with influence of spare sense, okay. Yeah, border control is cool. Border control is really spicy with uh, Mason Bellamy. I've been liking that a lot. Four day weekend. I, ITD Seder. I'm not doing IT department people if I'm just playing SC for fun. I think IT department is also probably playable in Mirror Morph. That actually might be the, the toll booth. I think we'll check where they're faced because at least we don't lose the credits. Oh, it's an IP block. Oh, that's really bad. They could boost here. We actually have three credits with the link. So they should pay one here. Yeah, okay. So we'll take the tag. So they can see our hand now because we're tagged. That's what their ability does. It's not like they learn anything. I don't know. How do we? The thing is like, okay, not playing Gamble might be an oversight, but like Liberate and Daily Cast also seem really important. Like they've iced up all servers, so we're never going to get crowdfunding off for free. Oh, this is going to be a long game. We're basically going to wait for them to win. Yikes. I just poured a lot of water on myself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, this might be one of them non-games. Yeah, I poured a lot of water on myself. At least that part is the thing. Okay, so there's probably a toll booth there. We're pretty far away from contesting it. We're just gonna inject for, uh... well, none of those cards. So this is actually installed for two, play this for two. So this becomes a three credit card. So it's three credits for th for two clicks. It's technically okay. It's better than some of the other options. I think we're just gonna sit back and take money. John Masonori seems like a liability. Play this match with your eyes closed. How's it going, David? That's gonna be hard too. So we have a lot of these like situational cards. All right, if we don't ever get a really good play for the next two or three turns, I think we might just throw in the towel here. I just want to tune up this deck and try to de de demolish her and see how this goes. Like, this is probably uh, Rashida. If we run here, we lose some credits. We have no... Oh, fuck, we just injected through the Mimic. So we have to labor rights that. We knew that was there. That's a misplay. Oh, and we also lost to Stargate. Stargate actually would have been one of our win conditions. Because then if they spend money resing a server, they have to, like... We can Stargate through this all we want. Not all is lost. That inject was really bad. 
It's going great. Thanks for asking. I asked, right? That's a Raven. We'll just go ahead and jack that out. At least they can't res a Tollbooth here, but I think that's a Rashida. Okay, this card is not good. We also only have, what, six resources in the whole deck. Three of them are crowdfunding, which seems like a big deal, but we only have six resources. And if I throw this out, we now only have our uh, Ice Carvers on the bottom. So we only have three resources in our deck for these two isolations. Clone chips? Yeah, oh, sorry, you're right. We have two clone chips. That's totally true. Did she try and eat, did he try and eat the cactus? This one. Just that one? Yeah. That's the shittiest one to eat. It's literally sharp. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So I was super worried Humphrey was going to eat plants. There's a lot of plants in this place, and apparently he went straight for the sharp one. I did de demolish your freedom for a snake draft. I kind of love that console. It seems fun. Oh yeah, this is good for crowdfunding. Do we play it? I don't think so. We could do it now, but that's the thing is like we lose so much value when we're demolishing these things or sorry, isolating these things early. I think we have to play the console. We'll play the console. I did. Isolation feels like such a bad card. I don't get it. U useless early, and you don't want to install resources to trash them for only one extra credit on Gamble. Yeah, so that's a big thing about this card. If you've ever played Arkham Horror, Arkham Horror does res uh, does assets and resources. Uh, that's what they call a lot of their resources in a different way than Netrunner. So Netrunner for cards like um, you know daily casts for cards like Armitage, when they're empty, they trash themselves. In Arkham specifically, they don't. So you end up having dead cards on the table, and that makes this sort of design more interesting. As soon as there's like good cards that actually empty themselves and like hang out, which we haven't seen so far in Netrunner, this card gets a lot better. But to play this card, you're already eating into the value of an installed card a lot of the times, unless it's something you need to get rid of now. So like if you isolate this, so that's like the scenario, right? You're meant to isolate a crowdfunding when there's one credit left on it. So you're paying two credits to gain five, but you're losing a credit, you're losing a card draw, and you played another card draw for it. So it's like really far behind. It's like easy mark type value, if not even worse, because it's situational. Corey, how's it going? One credit better than Gamble is crazy good. You're right, the cost is probably not worth it, but just slightly better than Gamble is very good. Yeah, but it's another card. Like, it's a two-card combo. It's a lot worse. Lady hangs out. Yeah, Lady is cool. Lady is one of the ideas, and then you can play that other one, the one with the other thing on it. You know the one. Uh, so if this is a toll booth, they can't res it. If we stim hack through it, we have to hope it's not. Like, what could it be? So there's two slot machines out. An IP block, it could be. Uh, it's behind a data raven, so there's actually a big chance that it is a data ward, which would be pretty bad. But yeah, Lady's the idea, right? When it's testing Demolisher and Freedom, I really, really installed it. Or is our going to win? Yeah, that probably is an issue. Alright, so that's hopefully how we win. Hopefully they score this and go down to three credits, and then we can, like, install this and go. I feel like... Isolation is going to be worse than Stimhack. The problem is you can't use Stimhack with Stargate, but a lot of their ice is trace based, so the Stimhacks have a lot of value. Gotta trash something. Might as well be our own hand. Like, isolation with stuff like Ghost Runner or Armitage with one use left, Atom Directives. Yeah, that's the idea. I just wish like those cards trashed themselves. Like, didn't trash themselves when they're empty. What do we got? Please be a. Oh, it's a Global Food Initiative. Okay, so that's a restricted card. They're on three credits. We probably just can't actually just slam this thing down. And go and hopefully with the demolisher fires that'd be really cute isolation could be good if you use it some decks with drug dealer yeah things you want to get rid of it makes sense we're not going to lose oh we actually lose two credits this is not if able those rolled in bones hardware event event so we have a hippo coming up dirty laundry too we're going to lose two credits we're going to get one back oh they gained three. Ooh, that's bad Special report, focus group, focus group. Oh, these are terrible. Gain to credit, demolish your fires. Feels good. Got a data sucker, feels good. So we draw, we draw into a hippo, which is actually pretty scary. We have to break all the subroutines, which is hard. We only have one of each program. And the Amakuas are kind of bad in an IP block matchup. They're definitely on three of these. So yeah, that was something, I guess. Isolate crowdfunding. You're right, we probably should have. We probably should have credit isolated it. It's much better than a card. Yeah, that was a fuck up. Yeah, that's totally a fuck up. 
You can't think of a card in the vacuum like that. It's part you can even think of it. You can. It's like spec work. Good card with a great effect, but you can't just add it to a deck. You need to make sure a deck supports it. That's what you're thinking about. Isolation is the same, yeah. Demolisher. Demolisher, the new Paragon. Hey, one second. Sorry, Mr. Sandy. Warlander, how's it going? What's up? Welcome. They're on 10 credits. That means they can probably res whatever this toll booth is. There's no server we're going to dirty laundry this turn. But, like, you know, YOLO, we can just hit this button. We definitely should have uh, sold this. Oh, it's a Raven. Okay, are we going to go tag me? What did they do? They played special report, so they actually shuffled their deck. So we could just go full tag me. Only this will end the run. Then we don't have to worry anything. Then we have to worry about big ice. I feel like we have to go tag me, so yeah, fuck it. We're gonna tag me. I don't think we're gonna win anyways. My sister is bringing in all the plants. Does anyone else start humming Joy Division when you keep thinking about isolation? I'm afraid I don't know much Joy Division. All right, so we got this. Again, we can just straight up die to boom. Hopefully we just lock the top of their deck. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to dirty laundry this turn because this is gonna take the three credits. It's Stargate event hardware, so best case scenario, we just lose three. I wonder if you can make a pseudo pawn shop deck with isolation and spec work. Oh, it's a high profile target. <laughs> I think we trash this one, and then I think we just run again to steal the beal. So, okay, we're gonna die if they have an arcane memories, we're gonna die if they have a consulting visit. Uh, there's a lot of reasons we're gonna die, and we're only gonna win if their ice is terrible, which a lot of it is just taking ice. And again, they have 17 influence, so they can run three of these plus like an archive memories, or two of these plus some other shit. The thing is, including building around isolation, you're also mitigating the rest of your deck for a kind of mediocre card. I agree, I don't know. You think that was a good call? It's either that or the Beal. I feel like the Beal might have been worth it. And we're going to put our, uh, yeah, now we have event, event, hardware. That sucks. So now they actually gain money. Stank deck is jank. I don't know. We just went like four tags and they have a card that kills us. What was the third card? I don't remember, but at least the chat log shows. Uh, chat log? It was an IP block. Okay, so that's a huge issue. There's no way through it. They just put an IP block here and we're fucked. We can't trash it. This is fucked. Everything's bad. <laughs> oh, I guess we run again to get our, our the card out. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. The amount of tags doesn't matter. Patrick Isolation with same old thing and the right resources. It's far too weak to build around. It's far too fiddly to just be good. I don't get it. it makes see how support makes playable. Yeah, I don't know. It's technically like one influence econ. I think that's actually really cool. But, uh... Mm. Alright. Black Orchestra, we're going to get that one to come up to the top. So this is only three credits lost for us. It does nothing. So this gets our crowdfunding back, which is kind of cool. The IP block on the top is the biggest issue. We don't have any shuffle effects. Uh, I think the Amaku is technically playable now because the IP block is going to goof us no matter what. So I think that's fine. I think the Dirty Laundry actually might be the worst card. This is pretty committed to not breaking ice isolation that sucker. Yeah, uh, now with actually with Amakua, we can uh, get through the IP block ones. So I think they're gonna trash it to install the IP block. Either that or we die right now somehow. Or they could be Big Beal. Yeah. Oh, we die. Okay, well we died. <laughs> they had one. If you do complete image with the grip is revealed, can you? Nope. All right, it's getting net seven in a click bad or something. I'm gonna trash as a card. It's good for burst. Yeah, I'm just gonna show my sister out. I'll be right back.
Oh, there's a little guy. It's causing a problem. Oh. oh, hold on, my sister's trapped. No, she's good, she's good, she's good. Humphrey, don't escape. One second. She's gone! It's just you and me, buddy! Oh, he has no idea where he's where where his his mom went. Oh, uh, how's everyone doing? All right, we're gonna change this deck a little bit, and then we'll try it again. Uh, we're gonna make uh, we're just gonna do the idea, right? We're gonna have money in it. We're gonna have money in it. I think that's largely the thing. We just want to put a bit more money in it. We'll play the demolisher, and we'll get good accesses. It'll be fun. <laughs> Band. Oh, Princess Space Cannon. Oh my god, I've killed him. <laughs> well, how's it going, Jim? Good game, by the way. Tag, how's it going? Called Isolation, it doesn't want support. Leave it alone. <laughs> Do we play Isolation in this deck? I don't know if we have any targets. Okay, so we're going to do an Edward Kim deck. We're going to try, what, two copies of Demolisher? Yeah, okay. So we want to trash things. So how do we trash things? We play two copies of Demolisher. Uh, Hippo is a good one for trashing things. Um, I feel like... Wait, does Isolation block Demolisher? No, you have to trash a Corp card. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, do Hippo 3. What else do we want? Okay, so let's just put some basic money in here. Gamble would be good. We're going to be running Centrals a lot because we need to trash things. So we'll play Dirty Laundry. A liberated seems pretty good. You could liberate it accounts. No, don't isolation liberate accounts seems pretty bad. Unless you need burst money right away. We can play daily cast. You could technically isolate this. So you play two to gain you play, no, it's bad. Let's go to isolation. Clocots, how's it going? Do you think you can handle it? It should be fine. Humphrey's been here before and he used to be really chill. I think he just got here and then my sister left, so he's a bit like nervous. But normally he just like chills there if I'm at the desk, which is why the camera's a bit wide. But uh we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what else is good? I think Mars for mining mining accident is really good because we want to be running centrals a fair bit because we want to be running once a turn. So this actually could have some good value. Uh, card draw, inject, I've had worse. All that stuff is pretty good. Um, how to make sure we don't build every single Anarch deck at once. Uh, that deck was going to go on the, what's it called? I feel like, yeah, we might just be better playing Freedom, but that wasn't the point. Uh, we also want to play, because um, uh, that deck was playing crowdfunding. So we'll do that. Uh, we want to play... I feel like if we play David, we have to play Clone Chip, right? True Eddie Kim is having a smash count over six. We'll do it. Yeah, we're definitely playing Stargate. I just don't know if we play two or three. I feel like we only play two. Add Liberancello. Demolisher is only once per turn. Taka's a cool card. I haven't actually tried Taka yet. Maybe that's a good card that we can play. Something once install gives you credit to turn. Yeah, fuck it. It's unique, though. Mm. Dude, Ampassant is great with Hippo. How's it going, Disperse? Ampassant with Hippo is actually really cool. That is really cool. That's super cute. There's no way to trash a Corp card on our turn, right? Because it's it's not installed, right? Each time you trash a Corp card, so like cards like the shards, the, the other shard, excuse me. This is the Corp trashes, right? No, oh, that's the other one. This discards, okay, no. Uh, Gravedigger is only on installed cards too, which Edward Kim doesn't have the best. If we were going to do Gravedigger, we'd also play, um, I don't know, Isolate Taka. We could. My experience with the Ampus on Hippo is that it's great in Snake Draft and not worth the slots in Constructed. It's a bit harder to fire for sure. I think with DDoS on is like the, the jam. Isolation's better than Taka if Taka's doing, going to be a liability. Uh, yeah, but you just trash this thing with a liability. Let's look at the other deck to see what we want in here. Okay, so Amakua seems good. We're going to be running a fair bit. Uh, it's hard to inject Amakua, so maybe we do have to play Clone Ship. Uh, Forked is cool. I like Forked. Uh, the current Freedom is actually pretty cute because we can put Agendas in Archives, which is a really good way to play it. And we're going to play just a couple more of the Breakers. We'll do 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. And then we have to play Corroder. So Clone Ship is not too bad. Uh, that's all their influence. Okay, so let's keep the influence similar. I like Sucker a lot. Um, that's already 47 cards. So how far off the beaten path did we go? So the resources is fine. We basically kept the crowdfunding. I, maybe we'll cut that. Uh, this is the same. The, I think this part, we just got strictly better. We have a forked. Is forked the best one? I think the parasite is too slow. I think you can cut cast. I don't think we want to. MU problems? Uh, yes. No. It depends on the matchup. MU will be tight. 
Yeah, I don't know which is better. I don't actually know if Forked is best. If I'm playing any program destruction, I'd probably actually play Immolation Script, I'll be honest. The thing is they protect the archives, but like Immolation Script is really cool in a Stargate deck because you can trash programs and then Immolate. Let's do that. I think Immolation Script is a lot more fun anyways. This card's really good with, uh, got a lot better with, um, with Stargate because you just Immolation Script their ice and then you trash it. Okay, so we'll cut this. We have no currents, which kind of sucks. We need to get this down early. Immolation knife had worse. Yeah, this seems okay. We're we playing 45 cards. Uh, how does this draw? So this is our opening. Oh, we mulligan that. This is our opening. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Let's try this, right? We have no stim hack. Fuck me. Yeah, you're right. Sentries are usually bastards, so fork could be good. It could be good, but card slots, right? So daily casts might actually be one of our worst cards. But it feels good when you draw it. Our worst card is probably Demolisher, I'll be honest. We have no card draw besides Inject the Knife Horse. That also feels pretty bad. It's just hard to put all these cards, like, the slots are tough. Might go 2 Hippo. 2 Hippo's amazing. Like, with Edward Kimmy, you want to run, run once a turn. You also want Demolisher to fire, so Hippo's really good. Cut an Immolation. CF is draw. CF is some draw. I think Immolation's so good it's not worth cutting. I feel like Immolation, Hippo and Immolation also work well together. Like you trust the outermost, and now it's in archives for the whole game. Whenever they like you, you, you fucking Hippo a uh, uh, Kakugo or whatever, and then for the rest of the game, whenever there is a Kakugo, you can Immolate it. It's really good. I feel like the mining accidents might be better than casts. Yeah, it's really good with Stargate. I think three Stargate is too many. I can play forty six. Imp and Friday chip are good together. Yeah, they are, but it's it's like if we're doing Imp and Friday chip, it feels like just a lot of effort to make yourself a freedom. Archivist in place of mining accident. I feel like mining accident's really good. Archivist is cool though. Edward Kim has link. We'll do this just to try it. Actually, I'm down to try Archivist. I don't play it enough. Trim I've had worse inject. That's a long row two x programs. It's perfect though. Uh, I'll show you emulation. DL is less value if you're Stargate focused. What's DL? Oh, Laundry? Yeah, you're right, but we only have two Stargates. There's actually some chances we never draw them. And we just want to hammer Centrals in the early game, especially because we have Mining Accident. So like this hand, what would we do? We would like Demolisher this and then run in some order. We probably wouldn't install Demolisher unless the Centrals open. Uh, Demolisher V2. We'll try this. How the suckers and cats add one ice carver? Uh, we could. I'll try this first. I never love ice carver. Hopefully, Amakua and Sucker are good enough. Sucker's generally better than ice carver. Inject is risky if you go for two x Stargate. You're totally right, but we have two x clone chip. I feel like the clone chips got a lot worse if we're not playing David as well. This might be wrong. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you couldn't see the draws. It was really good. <laughs> I think two gate Stargate. Oh, fuck it. We'll we'll do a third Stargate. We'll play 47 cards. Stargate Eater definitely isn't bad. It's not bad. Humphrey, what are you meowing? Meow. Oh, Humphrey's upset. He's alone in this strange world. Uh, this is called Edward. Edward. Edward, you weirdo. What are we, max? Yeah, we're max! 2SG is fine with CC. Fuck. Uh, look at the heat. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Can you go entirely AI? I feel like it's a bad idea. I feel like you would want to do... Um... Wait, actually, what's the ruling? Does, does Eater give Amakua counters? Is accessing zero accessing? Cut the cast at the third mining. I feel like the mining will be really good if it fires. We did cut a cast though. I'll try this. Yeah, we're doing 47, whatever. We are refining the deck. Get MU card slots back since you're as aggro. Eater does not give turtle. Okay. Eater should give Amaku. I got, I got conflicting messages in chat. Humphrey's alone, you should have called the stream isolation. Oh, 
That's really sad. Humphrey, if you want to hang out, come here. We'll be cool. I just want to see what he's up to because I don't know what he's up to. He's alone in the thing. Eater should give. It's about whether you reach the access card step, isn't it? I thought so. I was thinking Polongi would be good in a deck like this with Fork. I want to try Polongi in a deck that runs, uh, I think Polongi with um, Nob Kiri is like wild. Like Nob Kiri, Polongi, Yusuf is a crazy engine. Like once you get in, you can make anything a barrier and break it for free. Like that seems really fun. It's just going to take time to make a good list. But like Nob Kiri, Clone Chip, Polongi, and Yusuf. Or Yusuf in Freedom. Any ways to raise Mike gain? Uh, no, we're pretty much maxed out. Well, okay, no, there's a knob here that says Mike gain. The thing is, like, you hear so much room tone. Pour some treats everywhere to let him feast. I don't have his treats. I think Anna has his treats. Is this worse or better? I just raised the gain. The other option is I can yell. No, that's probably a bad idea. My neighbors will hate me. I'm actually, Sarah's right, I think. I might have been thinking of the other card. Oh, sorry, Knar? Yeah. Save your voice. Okay, maybe this is okay. Give me one second. No one's joining. I'm going to find out where the cat is. He's hiding under the, the dining room table, looking really sad. Rough life, cat. That sucks. Rob's in. Okay, Rob. Let's go. Playing Mati. Fuck. God damn it, Rob. So actually, Archivist is really cute against Mati. We're going to mulligan for Ivad worse. We're just going to face check whatever the fuck. Don't scare the cat. I want it. This is really good. Almost their whole agenda suite is like that sort of shit. Okay. That looks like the turtle gets counters with the eater. Mmm. Turn one, Rashida. Alright, we want this down because it's. I think every single agenda in the right suite is uh, initiative or security. We want this down. We'll inject first. Alright. This hand is more expensive than I wanted. Oh, we have to throw a card out. I'm not throwing an emulation script. Yes, Amakua cares about the access step as a whole, not about accident cards. Okay, cool. That actually might be an engine. Okay, so this is amazing. This is amazing. All these cards are amazing. Emulation script obviously is the worst. I think clone chip might be the worst, but we haven't injected a program yet. These two we have to keep together. Punning David would have been pretty good. Uh... <laughs> Did I make my audio better or worse? I feel like Immolation Script might be the worst card. Eh, fuck it. We're just going to click to draw. Yeah, we'll click, click to draw. Rashida. I see, boy. Why do I root? Who do I root to win this game? Yeah, Mati is going to be hard. Mati is going to be very difficult. We're also very far away from playing Liberated Accounts because we went too low. Like, we inject into a really expensive hand. We could have installed two and hit this and then thrown out like three cards. They thought we had a current, so they iced this up. Got him. And I don't feel like this is the matchup where Demolisher is going to be really good. They have really taxing remote servers or central servers. Okay, so there's a lot of definitely good defensive upgrades. I think like we might just want to click to three install liberated accounts. Like that sounds really bad, and it's because it is. But like we need to get this down. Actually, next turn will be on five credits. The question is whether we can pressure it here. DNA tracker would be all our money. Would it be a problem? I think we just maybe draw. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if they use their ability on archives. I don't think they do. And if they don't, we can run R&D, maybe trash an operation. This deck usually runs like what? Three currents, three gambles, three IPO, three hedge fund. Uh, one, uh, three celebrity gift, one, requ uh, what's it called? The one where you shuffle. 
uh, preemptive. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Does it mean Rob knows exactly your deck? Yeah, Rob knows the deck, card for card. Aggro matchup is tough when you against Mati. A lot of times you just want to face check, but a lot of times you just want I've had wear some face check. Like they're on 19 credits now. We have to run the remote server like two or three times. Oh fuck. Okay, so this is a daily quest list. So this actually might just be a crazy in here. So we kind of need to run this thing. Humphrey sounds like he's getting closer. Uh, otherwise, he's gonna get an insane amount of money. And actually, there's a big chance that this is an embolus. I think Rob is playing daily quest embolus, which work really well together. Humphrey, come hang out. Uh, so that's a problem. Well, this is going to fire at least once. We have no programs. And the mining accidents now look really bad. At least the archivist is annoying. Celebrity gift, go on, show us their hand. It's Celeb, Celeb, Preemptor, Rashida, Thimble Rig. All right, so at least all we know is of Thimble Rig, so we can run R&D pretty trivially here. It gets a Thimble Rig res, which gives them some creativity. But if they put the Thimble Rig here, they can't do it on the remote. So successful run, that's an enigma. Still no answer to that. I think we're just going to face check this bad boy. I don't want to lose this. It seems like the most important card. Oh. Well, we could have got that. So we're going to draw an enigma. So we need a Kogate Breaker because we know they have two Kogates. Holy shit, Crazy Remote with a daily quest, I kind of love it. Yeah, it kind of works. And there you go, there's the Embolus that we thought. So the daily quest basically gives them the money for the Embolus. So that's a code gate and a code gate. And they, we know what's in hand, which is programs, uh, sorry, events. So we need to get our code gate breaker stat or it's going to be a problem. We could run into this, lose a click, but like, yeah, this is such a huge issue. Give us a decoder. It's not a decoder, but we will find a decoder. Barrier Breaker is cute. I don't want to show that we have the Stargate. All right. Wow. Daily casts. Let's give him what? Like eight credits? All right. So the celeb are gifting our hand. They have preemptive Embolus IP block. So now we know they have an IP block, which is fine because we have this. We do have actually an Amakua, which is terrible into an IP block. It will, though, get through um, the what's it called? We're going to run last click into it. It will get through the, the bouncing one. Oh, fuck. I should move my face. The thimble rig like that's kind of cool. So we'll put some pressure on somewhere else at least, because this remote seems pretty good. So we can actually get through this. We want them to install the, uh, the Thimble Rig somewhere else first. So we have two cards in our whole deck that can get through that, besides the, obviously the Amakua, but the Amakua will take a tag. So we also know that Enigma is on Serper 1. I don't actually think they should have been, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Celebrity Gifting Us, because showing us their hand was worth way more than anything else they could possibly do this turn. I'm assuming that's an IP block here. It might not be, so we'll risk it. Do we want to trash this? I don't think so. It's so easy for us to break. So this is the IP block, which I think it is, just so that their embolus would be good. Oh, fuck. Now we should have trashed it. Oh, okay. No, never mind. So this is the IP block. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is great. So we're going to lose all our hand unless we pay two credits to draw. I think we actually will play two credits to draw. Maybe they do need the celebrity gift money just because Embolus is pretty expensive. So all these separate teams are going to fire. We're going to lose um, both stim hacks in our deck. We are going to lose our emulation script. Hopefully we don't, just because if we do trash on the Anansi here, then we can run archives and then emulate the Anansi. I will pay two credits to draw. Because we have a Crowder down and a Stargate down, there's nothing else that we really care about hitting with our uh, uh, with our uh, injects. So like we can lose any program. We also want to keep our money up to some extent because the archivist might fire. This is fine. This is honestly not that bad. The cool thing is the top five in rearrange is still pretty bad against Stargate. All good. Like generally it's easy to put one on the top. They should probably draw an agenda here. They also used our ability so it could run HQ, but if it's a DNA or another announcement, we, we die, which would be bad. Yeah, we will. Oh. 
So we want to keep... Oh, yeah, good. We kept it. And jokes on them, we get one. This is not a demolisher. Never mind, we don't get a credit. Slot Machine, Eli, Daily Quests. So the Ellie, Slot Machine. If you got a deck, we'll struggle to deal with Slot Machine. If we threw the Ellie, we can like run through here and immolate the Eli right away. The Daily Quest will give them money, but they already have infinite money. I don't love this one. I think actually the Slot Machine is fine. Being able to trash the Eli would be pretty cute though. So that's kind of rough. Okay. Apathy, how's it going? It's going well, thanks yourself. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good Thursday, maybe even a long weekend already. Maybe it's a Friday. So are they going to score the Nisa counter again? Embliss plus Nisa counter, pretty rough. And the Thimble Rig back on R&D gives them the flexibility. Four advances, there you go. So this is actually an initiative. So they can do a trace here. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. We have two link. So we're going to pay two for a bad pub. Not too bad at all. Got another Amakua. So we basically need to figure out a way to get through this, which is going to be hard. Uh, and we know that they drew an Eli in hand, so they have an Eli to, to throw down. That's cute. That's cool. That's garbage. Let's go. Doing alright, I was playing Apex earlier and I didn't even get humiliated. I don't know if you mean Apex Legends or the uh, ID Apex. Thimble Rig, a Nazi's on the outside. Seems like a bad play against, uh, against a Hippo. So if we want to do something, we want to do it this turn. And then once the Nazi's have been, the emulations are really good. Showing us their whole hand, we know Eli, Daily Quest, Batty, Preemptive Rashida. And then Embliss is doing a lot of work. So this is unrunnable, right? Like, we just can't contest this remote. This combo is really cool. This is a really cool combo. All right, so we need to break all of this. It's 9, so that's 11. I think we definitely do it. The problem is the MU is, is full. That's going to be an issue. Uh, the only thing they can show us is... Uh, 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 uh. Probably strictly run to get Thimble inside on RD since I know you're not on turning wheel. Uh, yeah, MU is an awkward. MU is super awkward right now. Because we need all of these to make a successful run. Oh, well, technically we don't need this. But then we're making a really bad run. We want to do this now, though. I think it's worth it. Getting rid of this is worth it. This sucks. <laughs> that's a win. Yeah, that's a win. And if we had a demolisher, we would have got a credit, so even better. We'll pay one for this. They can install an Eli if they want, which is fine. Relatively. I think they probably do it, but they have not a lot of ice in hand. We have another one up here. Hopefully we don't need this. What's this card with a pretty color in your grip? This one is Simulation Script. It's really fun. It's good with Stargate. It's good with Hippo. I like this a lot. I think it's a really fun card. Ooh, Thimble Thoughts. Let's take it. Do they install an Eli? Continue. We're going to hit an Eli. It will end our run. But only our run. Yeah, it's cool with Stargate, isn't it? Stargate Turtle's a little nombo. It totally is. And how the fuck do we run this remote? This remote's unrunnable. They can just jam anything. That's a baddie. So they can pre-res it. Get a card off of Stargate. Or, sorry, off of crowdfunding. I don't know how we're possibly going to do this. This engine's great. Holy shit, this engine's cool. The only good counter to this is political operative. But even now, if they Chrysium Centrals, this gets a lot worse. Because we have to run five times to be able to run this. And they have two counters. Like it's We're going to lose if we can't win on Centrals. We just don't have the MU to do anything good. Oh, that's cute. It's good that we have that. Yes, sir. Welcome back. This has given us so much money. We have just like, like we needed to contest this immediately. 
We need to contest this immediately. Because, like, we can't run through all this stuff just to lose an endless token. So we have to win off of R&D. So I think we're going to over-install the Stargate run. That's Rashida trashing the daily quests. 37 credits seems like enough. There's Rashida. I don't know why they're pre-resing everything. Still need the Amakua. Let's go. Is 11 credits enough to break? No, DNA Tracker will hit us. Actually, really bad too. Oh. Yeah, of course. I'll just end the run. So we need to install our programs. We're fucked. Yeah, we have to win with Stargate 100%. But now we need our Black Orchestra down, which means we're going to trash the Amakua. <laughs> the Rashida is also going to draw into a lot of cards. The good thing about like Daily Quest, at least, because they're on two of them, like they might not actually be on border control. Ambulus might be good enough. It did throw out two cards. Might be worth checking out what those are. Yeah, we'll run archives. If we can get this to twice, if they don't res here, we might be fine. We could just run through this. Oh, yeah, right. We knew what that was. I think we're going to take a tag. I don't think we can clear the tag and win. Do we pay three here? Oh, no, we have t t a bad fire. Oh, actually, nah. We should have broke that. It's cheaper. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, right. Mm, okay. Well, we're just going to go ham here. Most of it's not running, but we have to win. Yeah. Uh, Fafangula. Fuck. Enigma. Doing the Lord's work. Oh, man, that's a good hand against Enigma. How did that get a 7 counter embolus? Oh, it was just running for a while. It's an 8 counter embolus. Woo, that's another bad pub. Let's go. They should boost into this one, though. Actually, they should have trashed this first. Nah, probably not worth it. How much do we pay for bad pub? Do we pay 5 for a bad pub? I feel like the game's going to be over before we can capitalize on that. No, so we're not. That was a siphon. IPO 13? Okay, so we have to get in now. I think we're going to trash the Amakua for sure. We get Stargate here. Yeah, we'll Stargate. Gives us five credits. We'll actually end up clicking through this. They have a preemptive in hand though, so like this Stargate's actually really bad. I think we might be on tilt a bit. Yeah, continue. Nothing kills us. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we can, we literally can't win. Cool. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, GG. We can run HQ once, if they let us. Got him! This, that was not fun. We did nothing. We literally did nothing. Yeah, you really need to trash this. Man, Ambulus Daily Quest is nuts. I think that might actually might be better than Border Control. That was crazy. Yeah, we didn't stand a chance. The power level of this deck is insane. There's no bad cards in here. Thank you. Uh, we have a lot of suboptimal cards. So, the Clone Chip would have been really good. Uh, we still don't have enough money to do anything. David's would have been pretty good as a matchup with like Cutlery, but like I don't think we can afford any of it. The Stargate is just too expensive. Demolisher is not great. Uh, this runner? All right. All right, we've had enough of that. Edward Kim's ability, just not doing enough. You have to get runs. They have to be operations. Like, I just don't think I'd ever play Edward Kim when I can play Freedom. Freedom is so much more interesting. 
Uh, Yusuf is a really good card. You can trash ice. You can trash literally anything. It's really good against asset spam. While freedom is, uh, I think Edward Kim is just a more less interesting design version of uh, freedom. Anyways, that's that. So that's the deck list of the week plus a bit more. Uh, we're going to actually build a deck now. I wanted to play complete image and see. Does freedom some corpse faces off? No, I think we're actually going to play corp right now. Plays crap funny with consume, freddy, chip, and imp. I think if we play Consume, Friday Chip, and Imp, it would still be a really, like, that matchup is, it's, you just don't win it. And even if we're playing Consume, Friday Chip, and Imp, I think I'd rather just play Consume and then play Freedom and call it a day. Chisel's a really interesting Freedom. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, Chisel is cool in Freedom. I think if I was playing Chisel, though, I'd probably play it in Null. But I don't think the Null deck would be that good. I hear sounds coming from the kitchen. Give me one second. I'm just going to check up on the cat, cat watch. Hold on. The problem with Chisel also is you can't play Inject really easily. Um, Humphrey's eating happily in the kitchen, so that's pretty good. It's pretty cool. All right, I want to build a Corp deck because we've only been playing Runner classically. Uh, yeah, I guess there's a bit of a recap. Um, so we had a store championship this week. Uh, always be running. Be run, running. That net. Oh, fuck. Uh, we had a store championship. Shout outs to everyone who came by. It was actually, I think, the biggest store championship that weekend. It may have been tied. But uh, we had 21 players, which is crazy. That's a lot of players. Our last store championship was like eight. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, congrats to Yannick who won. Uh, so I was judging. Um, I had a really good day. I actually, uh, we played four rounds to top four. I was top of Swiss. Um, I technically ID'd two rounds, but I played all my games and I did not lose a single game. So I went eight and no, but I decided not to play in the cut because I was judging. I already took a store championship this season. Uh, I kind of regret it, honestly, because like as ma all of these Asmari decks are punitive Asmari decks with tagging ice. And I was playing 419 with uh with like power tap and it was just it's a disgusting matchup and citadel sanctuary so they can't even punitive you it's a hilarious fucking matchup so i kind of wish i got to play that 419 was so good that day and mati makundo also doing pretty well i'm surprised there's no mati up here only as mari rajli and then that one gagarin deck um so that was cool congrats to everyone who showed up and to play it it was really fun a lot of new players came out too I think my favorite matchup was actually Cody, who uh, I think we met for the first time. He was playing a Jemison Astronautics deck. And I fucked up really bad. I stargated and I saw a border control and an SDS drone deployment, which tell let me tell you, SDS drone deployment against criminal is like the most terrifying thing. And I, I was like, I'll leave the SDS drone deployment. I'll come back later. And uh, Cody drew it installed in a remote trashing, forfeiting another SDS drone deployment that was already scored um to res a gem to res a whatever that jemison astronautics uh an oberth protocol to fast advance the other sds just to trash my uh, amina it was such a big problem holy shit it was a really fun game though uh ended up an amakua with like 15 or so tokens we'll get through all of that um anyways that was really cool thanks to everyone who came out it's a really diverse meta today like i've been a bit like i think the card that i've been the most negative at for a while now has been hushu I've, I've warmed up a bit to it. It's a really strong card. I feel like it's a bit better than any of the R&D multi decks that we've seen. And a lot of like these two decks was just like not getting hushooked, which was actually kind of easy uh, if you just kept border controls and like sandstorms and stuff in hand. So it was kind of cool, but it was really fun. Yeah, Gagarin. Uh, Gagarin is just basically like the old Gagarin decks that have been competitive for a while. Uh, there's a bit of a gamble here. Um, the matchup that we played once, I got really lucky. I had a good opening. I shut them down, but I was also playing that Citadel Sanctuary self-tagging deck, and they run Zealous Judge. Luckily, none of that happened at the same time, but it's a mean deck. The problem is, like, it doesn't protect R&D very well. I don't think John had more than six ice in his deck, uh, so people just hushooked it, and that generally can win. Uh, but John did relatively well, obviously, so good for them. What's your influence in the Matee list? Uh, the Mati list, I changed a slight bit. I saw Mati list online where uh, somebody was playing. Um, maybe a Mati list is actually here. We can just open it. Uh, no, it's not. Um, somebody was playing. Uh, they were talking about how criminal is in the meta. And in their meta, there was a lot of criminal. So I was running three border control. I was running a Tithonium with three Marcus baddies. I think Tithonium is disgustingly good. 
uh, against criminal because you fire the Marcus Batty, it trashes three programs and a resource and ends the run, which is worth it. And then I think I'm on uh, one IP block and then like what, two or three uh, slot machines. I don't think a Garden's running 54. My man may pulled that on me in our last essay. Yeah, I think Tithonium is really scary in Mitty. I like it a fair bit. Uh, yeah, I don't have the list here. Another thing I want to report really quickly before we get too sidetracked is that we had that problem for the first time. Uh, for Oh, these are work. I can't show them. Yeah, this is the 419 neck I played. Uh, I shouldn't have played the feedback filter. Uh, the 419, sorry, yeah, so we had problems with Nisei cards, right? Because they have different card backs and you can see through some of the less opaque uh, card sleeves. So I actually for my 419 deck, because I play in light color sleeves, I double sleeve them with like oh, original Netrunner cards. So they're like twice as thick. I think I'm going to do that all the time because it feels so good. The cards kind of feel like more like acrylic plastic, like they're pretty thick and like heavy. Uh, it feels way better. It feels super cool. Um, I think I want to do that from, from now on. I think that's really cool. This 419 deck is really, really, really good. I think I added the Stargate. I know a lot of people are playing instead of uh, Stargate are playing like Amina, not Amina, what's it called? Uh, Angolo. I think Amina is fine with Stargate. The CD I filter, I was scared that there's going to be more net damage. I hate losing to net damage, so I wouldn't play this. I think I'd, I don't know what I'd play actually. Uh, MU is tight. Uh, Stim hack doesn't make that much sense. I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. Not playing feedback filter, I think it's a must have. Imagine you have a PE. If there's a PE, you're okay. You just Stargate them. Like, Stargate doesn't fire traps. You just throw everything out. Uh, you can sit it all, like, you can face check with. You have enough money. But you're right. This is four PE. There's one PE at the thing. There was one, like, uh, Genteki Biotech. But a lot of the Genteki decks weren't damaged. I think that was the only Genteki damage deck besides Biotech. But Biotech was running, like, a. Urban Renewal, which I can dodge me damage, so it doesn't matter. I also think it's interesting how like feedback filter is probably better than uh, Caldera in faction just because it's not a resource so they can't trash it as easily. I think that's really cool. Okay. All right. Let's build a deck. Let's do it. New Corp deck. Specifically, I want to play complete damage and I want to kill someone holding not that many cards in hand and i don't think it's very difficult to do i think it's very easy to make like a really narrow deck that just only does that what are we talking about 419 stargate nexus yeah it's good it's really good stargate's really good um yeah so we're gonna play chronos protocol because with complete image we can name the card and we can do net damage and we can kill i played a complete image deck for store champions a little while ago did all well 3-0 all ci kills hell yeah so we're going to try and replicate that, Sarknar. The thing is, I want to build a bit of a more flexible deck. I don't want to build a deck that's just like, we only do this. Like, I think we can build a deck that can also score out. So, Chronos Protocol, first time you do damage, you get to see their hand. So the basic idea is if you know their hand, because you play something like uh, Salem's Hospitality, uh, you can pull card, multiple cards of the same name out of their hand. And then when you play complete damage, uh, you can kill them. Which is cool. Uh, you also can play copies of, I don't actually know how this works in the deck. Um, if you play copies of Neural EMP, it's probably good uh, with Neural EMP. You you don't want to hit this. Yeah, I guess you can hit this first. You can hit this last. It depends how many cards are in hand, in hand. I love the complete Chronos Image combo kill. Yeah, that's what we're going for, for sure. So I think we play three of those. Other good cards, we want cards like Kakugo that just make centrals annoying. Um, not a lot of people are playing Chisel. I thought people would be, so this Ice is not a lot better than it looks. Uh, or it's just as good as it was. And then you want to play Obakade, because if they ever steal an Obakade, they're so wide open for a complete image kill. Not only does complete image have a condition that they need more than three um, uh, net damage, or sorry, three agenda points, this also does four damage, that's so really good. Say, you're saying Arc Lockdown? The thing is, like, Arc Lockdown is good for sure if we want, but that's the thing, is like, what do we want to build? We can build, like, a denial deck that, like, tries to hit programs all the time, which is okay and cool, but a lot of times I feel like we're going to keep Salem's Hospitality in our hand for the kill, and we're not going to do much else with it. Um, Sting? Yeah, I haven't played Sting yet. I think Sting is really exciting in, like, PE decks. I think it's a really fun card, and people don't play around it well. Uh, we could play this. Let's just see what our agenda suite is. I think House of Knives is also definitely very playable. And those are a bunch of three ones. Uh, so they're kind of hard to play all together. Like we could just run seven agendas, run three Obakadas and then like three SSLs and call it a day. Because we also could put Mush uh, Punitive in here too. Because you could do Punitive into Complete Image and that'll kill a lot of times. 
You want to be more well-rounded? Yeah, that is more well-rounded, but like, this is so many card slots. And then we use our Salem's and like, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Oh, Fetal's really good. Yeah, Fetal's a card. But like, our Agenda Suite's going to be really difficult and expensive to score. The first thing we need to tackle is, do we want, we probably do want uh, six NBN cards to make sure Salem Hospitality and we can save ourselves a 12 influence. So I think some really good places to start is our friend, uh, uh, pull the pull the handle. I'm a slot machine. It took me a while to think of the name. But this is really good. You see what they're drawing? So it makes it super easy to salams them. It makes it super easy to complete image them. And then of course you could play standard procedure, which uh, is cool for that combo as well. It also is just an econ card, but this one generally takes up a lot of slots. So we could play like two of these. We could reveal the grip and then go for the kill. IP, IP block is also a pretty good option. Um, there's also some new stuff. IP block's not bad. You just can't rush behind IP block. Eh, yeah, okay, so that's the thing. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I guess we'll figure out what our, our, what our um, other thing is. It's also interesting, cards like Snare, like this actually doesn't help us. I argue that this, I would argue that this deck doesn't need effects like this because you don't want them to be that scared. This is like expensive. I guess it doesn't really matter for non-punitive, but um. Yeah. I really want the new NBN Fest events to the work in Kronos. I feel like that's a bit counterproductive, Brick, because uh, you're trying to do damage to them to see their hand, and then they have fewer cards in hand, so it's a bit harder to play it. What's that card called? I always forget the name. What's the name of the card? Pop-up is an option, Jim. Got some decks to build. Good luck, friendo. Hey, thanks. Say it. Thanks for dropping by. Good luck with your HP, huh? Uh... It's, it's something about crowd or group or something. I don't know. Something dumb like the anti-temple barrier. Can't think of the name. Focus group. Thank you. Oh, man. That's the other thing I really want to do. We'll talk to talk about that in a second. Uh, so focus group, yeah, seems a bit counterproductive because we are literally doing damage to them and then this card gets worse. The cool thing is like we can do neural to see their hand so we know if we can safely play focus group. But at that point, we could just play standard procedures and call it a day. Uh, one thing I really want to do... And this is not the right deck for it, but like you can play three copies of Sandstone, which is uh, six influence, which is not bad at all. Like it's an okay card. It's not terrible. Uh, so you can run six copies of Sandstorm and then play Reverse Infection. And for a deck that's like more of a grinder deck, we're not meant to be a grinder deck. Like that's pretty cool. Like at some point in the game, if you never purge, like Sandstone in the late game will have like 18 tokens on it. Like that's not that hard to imagine. Maybe that's a bit much. Okay. Well, if Senso gets a zero, they'll ru be running through it a fair bit. I guess it depends where you put it. Okay, but say we can get maybe nine counters on this. Like, you can play Reverse Infection to mill three. Like, that's cool. That's actually cool for, like, sort of, like... Did they just ban? I think they banned uh, Potential Unleashed, but that's sort of, like, grind deck that we're not exactly playing here. Data Loop was what I was trying to think of. Oh, Data Loop is good, too. Data Loop is a bit pricey. I feel like we need more money to play Data Loop. Like then, if, the thing is, like if we're doing data loop, I think I'd sooner want to play like cards like Hokusai Grid, which is like a cheaper data loop by a fair amount. So we gotta figure out what we want to do here. Like Hokusai Grid's obviously pretty good. Arguably, actually, uh, there's a chance that Hokusai Grid Grid is actually worse. Oh no, with Hokusai Grid we see net damage, so that actually is a reason why it's better, strictly better than uh than uh the other one than Prysac. Never had fun playing against a PU deck. Yeah, no, me neither. Not really. Okay, let's get money in here. Just make sure this deck isn't terrible. I don't know whether we want to show them that we're holding complete image. It is trashable. For that reason, actually, an archive memory seems like pretty good. All right, so that's already a fair bit of cards. Our agenda sweep, what do we want? So, uh, Fetal AI is pretty good. But this one's actually pretty hard to score and expensive. Shang, how's it going? How's the downfall meta? Has it been settled? It takes a long time to figure out. I, the meta is by no means settled just because 65 cards is a lot of cards at once and a lot of store championships are just happening now so people are publishing their competitive deck lists but so far what I've seen is really good. You're in Kronos, they already know. Oh, I don't like playing this card. Uh, we also do at least have a lot of these. Um, I feel like in, if I'm playing Jinteki, I always want to run one copy of Breach Dome just to put in archives to poison it. That always feels pretty good. And we need better ice. We need... Okay, so what are we stealing? We have Obakata. 
cool. We have Fido. Fido is a bit awkward. It isn't a three-pointer. And I think we want three-pointers with complete image because we want to turn it on. And we want it to be on as long as possible. So I think actually we might just do three-pointers. And then like what? Two copies of Hass of Knives? There's another one-pointer that someone was suggesting. One-time snare. Okay, one-time snare. House of Knives is good. There's another one-pointer someone suggested that was really... Oh, Sting. But then you need all of them. So we'll just do two House of Knives and that'll be okay. Hopefully we don't get turntabled. And wow, we need 10 more ice. Play three oboe, three TFP, two House of Knives. You need them to steal three-pointers. Consider NGO to Dragons for Kikugo. Yeah, NGO is definitely okay. I feel like Rashida might be not great. Philotic Entanglement is actually not that bad either. But like, it's not going to be very good considering we don't have a lot of uh, agendas. Good evening, folks. How's it going, Chris? Sai Tan is not particularly that great. I'd rather play Kumainu every time than Sai Tan. I think Kumainu is just way worse to deal with. I, 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 Sai Tan is cool. It's a really interesting effect, but like, I'd rather just play Kumainu. Nobody is playing Hunting Grounds, and Kumainu is way more annoying. Um... I feel like we probably don't have the money for punitive. We'll see. I just want to figure out what our ice suite is first. So currently we're on nine ice. So we probably, if we have like seven more, uh, maybe that's good enough. Iki is cool. It's a cool net damage card, but it helps them draw, which is the opposite of what we want to do. We also have seven fucking influence. Gene Splicer? Uh, Gene Splicer is a cool card. Yeah, Gene Splicer is a cool card. It actually helps with the three pointers. Okay. And go see our NGO friends a bit of bit of a uh, choice. So we want to play some face checks that do damage. So we can put some big stuff. Obviously, like uh, wow, what's this one do? Hmm. Yeah, we could do punitive. I don't know if it's money. The deck is is rich now to res like nothing ice. Rich now to res. Oh, I see. We have too much money. Yeah. So I think we can actually run some big ice. So we can do two teenager trackers, two Anansi's. Six, five, two. It's like 13 ice, it's not a lot of ice. We have the Kakugo, Sai Santan, I think again, I think I just like the other one a lot better. I do like the, what's it called? The dog, we just said the name. Oh, huh. huh. You know the one with the dog on it? Kamainu. I think Kamainu is better. Amani Turtle Max. Also infrastructure. What? Amani Turtle Max. Also infrastructure. What are you doing? Are you building an IG deck? Kamainu, thank you. Okay, so we have seven influence. That seems like the biggest issue here. Swordsman to slow down Kamainu. I think we already have anti AI though. Turtle, we already have a bit of that. Zach, how's it going? Uh, that's a bad hand. Okay, we're doing too much. Not enough kill. We are missing seven influence. So what do we import? Better ice? Border <laughs> control? Uh, we could. We literally could. Like, we have no tricks in here. Do we not? How do you use influence? How do you not encourage a runner to run and not just sit back? It's fine if they sit back. Literally, sitting back doesn't matter. Because, like, we're not on punitive, so sitting back is fine. Data loop is okay. Hey, the face check's actually pretty annoying. Whoops, phone was in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind data loop at all. We're over, though. Stuff three influence. Offer you can't refuse still around. It is, but it's not particularly that good. Because it's hard for them to force them to steal this. MBS at NBN asked at the forfeit agenda. Fabian, how's it going? Uh, Ibrahim Salem is really hard in this deck, though, because we have a lot of three pointers. We can't really protect this one. It's cool, though. This is no influence, though. How about Code Replicator? What I want to play in this deck is uh, the Brain Damage Lady. She's cute with House of Knives, she's cute with Kakago, and we have the money for it. Fuck it, let's try that. 
What's, what's, we can play Tori Hanzo. It's like what? Five credits to do a brain damage. They can jack out. But if he reses on Kakago, it's like, hey, get hurt. Ben Musashi's cute as well. Yeah, Ben Musashi's a good idea. Cut some trackers to put the dogs back in. Yeah, what's better, Kokates or Sentries? I feel like Sentries are better now. A lot of people are running, uh, like, Angolo. I feel like Tori Hanzo would be really fun. If we play a 54-card deck, it's going to be much harder for us to find our combo, because we also don't have any draw. I feel like Preemptive is probably straight up worse than the other one. Uh, what's the operation that uh, Jiteki can do to shuffle? It's like genotyping? Yeah. Yeah, Tori can be really cute. Thanks, Rob. Kill switch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is it? Do we have influence for kill switch? Dome is a net, it's garbage. It's for archives. You're right, though. It's the weakest card. Tarion's on a remote with Kakugo and a border control could be fun. How's it going, Billy? It's first time per run? Or first time per turn? I think it's per run. It's expensive. Do we play a border control? I don't know. One Tori's probably plenty. Yeah, but then we don't draw her. You're, you're definitely right, though. I feel like one splicer is probably enough. Oh, we just made a deck. Is there any way we can get... Border control is what? Three influence? Let's cut IP blocks for the third loop. IP blocks good though. Uh, what's a really good Kogate? What's like an absurd Kogate? Brainstorm. But who doesn't face check with a Sentry Breaker? Everyone face checks with a Sentry Breaker. Oh, Thimble Rig is actually pretty cute. You're right. But now we have four influence. <laughs> and that, that's the thing, it's like nothing is screaming at me to spend influence in this deck, which is the problem. I want to look for like a really spicy operation. Like what does damage? Like punitive? That's Kogate slot machine. Yeah, we have that one though. Like maybe we do play punitive. We can play two copies. Because it does help the combo out heavily. The third loop. The loop is really hard for people to deal with. Yeah, I think the loop is probably just good. Oh, Mouse's is actually not a bad card. It just is like a billion influence. Oh, it's net damage too. Ooh, I like the Mouse list. I feel like Punitive might just be better because the way Punitive archive Punitive. And the Tori Hanzo is probably too expensive. So Punitive is a win condition. I think that's probably better. Sorry, Mouseless, we tried. We gotta cut two cards. Yeah, Mouseless is really cool. Mouseless Hanzo is good, because that's like, they can't choose to break it. Because that's the thing, it's like with uh, Kakugo, which is honestly our only way to fire it besides the Nazi Kamainu, like, it's not a choice. IP block grading decks that get steamrolled by next blue sun, but not that compelling here. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Yeah, I think we got cut Hanzo. She doesn't make that much sense. Okay, this is technically a deck. Let's see what it draws like. Let me move my face. Alright. Hand is not the worst. Hand got worse. <laughs> so install this on HQ Remote Hedge Fund. It's all double. That's the problem is we don't have card draws, so it's going to be find, hard to find our combo. I think, ooh, that's a good hand. We we might want a Rashida. What's our average rice, 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 ice res cost? So 7 plus 4, that puts it at like, what? 5. This lowers it about to 4. It's about 4. Which brings it up to 5. This brings It's about 5 credits. So punitive actually might not be right. I don't feel like we're going to have the money for punitive. I feel like I want more ice. Mouseless. Uh, we have no threats for unadvanced cards. That's a problem. 
you're counting punitive, then you should cut Tori. Yeah, we've done both. The thing is, like, Tori doesn't really help for punitive. But data loop punitive is really easy. Dump a random arc lockdown? It's too influenced, though. Do you want data loop if you want them stealing Obocadas? Well, we don't want them stealing Obocadas. If they do steal an Obocada, we don't feel bad about that. I really don't care about the snare. I think the Rashida is better than the snare. I feel like a splicer is worse than the Rashida. Fuck it. One influence? Any any quick thing? Or oh, what about a reversed account? It doesn't help with because we're off punitive. I always like our clock down. It's good. The thing is like. Ugh. And for one times audacity, no, at that point, all we would do is a uh, shipment from tenant, but like, that's what we would do if we wanted it. Do you have a splicer? Do you have house of knives? Yeah, but we have to score it. Like if they steal two house of knives, yeah, fuck it. Whatever. We'll play Rashida. Let's go. I don't have a good name for this one. Oh, that's pretty okay. Uh, one influence. Any last pop-up window? Oh, hey, I'm free. Oh, you want to hang out now? Did you just eat? You good? There's a cat right underneath me now. I don't, I've never had a pet, like ever. So this is really exciting for me. Dump the knives, get sting. But then we need all three stings. Is this a new cat? No, it's my sister's cat. She's here for the for the thing for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna pick you up. I hope you're okay with it. I don't know how to pick up a cat, Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. How nice is better than Sting? I think so. I feel like it. Okay, last call, one influence. Give me an upgrade that costs one influence. Let's go. Willow Wisp actually is probably a good card. Uh, Chrism Grid's not terrible. I shouldn't have done this. Oh, I fucking hate this card. No, we don't want to play that one. Product placements, like, okay. We're playing a 14 influence deck. Nobody ask any questions. If you're just tuning in, how's it going? My name's Andre. This is this intro splash. There's a cat here. It's cool. Oh, I see. The cat has ascended. Uh, that chair is not good enough for the cat. New corp deck. Chronos project. The cool thing, though, with playing punitive is we have an out against, like, net damage avoidance. Um, if they play that and film critic, we lose. Nailed it. This deck is probably not bad. Cut something for attitude adjustment. Ooh, admin attitude adjustment wouldn't be bad either. Attitude adjustment is actually really good. Was it two influence? Illuminal, how's it going? Long time no see. The cat is very good, and I love them. <laughs> well, welcome but to stream. It's been a while. Hopefully, you're doing all right. Calvin Bailey, voter intimidation. Both of those are pretty cool. Combo protocol is a better name. Oh, the big boy's playing. I'm not going to walk in there right away. Just, just, oh, they're playing Corp. Okay, it wasn't an option. Um, I feel like Attitude Adjustment would be really good. Voter Intimidation is cool too, but we're not weak to any like specific resource. Besides, like Film Critic doesn't even matter that much. Uh, so we could cut... No, we have to cut one influence. Our deck is perfect. I did the math. I hope that you're doing well and won't be talking too much this bedtime. Hey, sleep well. Hopefully you're having a, a long weekend coming up. Glad you can drop by. All right, F1 Axel, let's go. Leela, woo. All right, this opening hand is expensive. We have a count siphon protection. Gonna go ahead and mulligan that. This might be better. All right, I think we're just gonna play a bit. So we can put this on HQ, click for credits. If they hit an agenda off the top of our D, we get completely gutted. If it's an Obakata, maybe we win. They're very weak to program destruction. Uh, so if we do like net damage a program from their hand, that's kind of cool. Hold the phone. Crowdfunding is a restricted card, so no employee strike. Bankroll means it's gonna be running a fair bit. Oh, I can't move the camera anymore. Uh, okay, cat's slightly out of frame. 
So we can do this into double IPO. It's a pretty good start. Uh, they're going to be running centrals. We have nothing really to do about it. Now, if we play all these cards, we'll have only trashables in hand. So we're going to draw once for an ice. Ooh, that on R&D is pretty good. Uh, we're weak to sneak door slightly, and the next turn maybe we'll jam on NGO front. Oh, Molly is really fun. Dirty Laundry Archives, getting that, f what, click for five credits. Seems pretty good. I haven't played this in a while. I've been generally playing more, uh, not so aggressive Leelas, because aggressive Leelas feels like it's really bad against things like Mati. But it's really good against Acids. All right, they're drawn up. If we neural them, name a card. Uh, we have no information to go on. So we can do double advanced NGO front. We'd have to pre res it though, so we don't get goofed by like, uh, they're probably on Amakua plus like expose effects. I feel like just having enough money, it'd be good. I'm gonna res it just so they can't uh, falsify it. Man, Molly is a card that people forgot about just because the Hermeta changed so much. So that's a scrying two credits. We have a fair bit of ice now in our deck. This is actually not the best on centrals. This is also a really cool card to put in the deck because now we have like a pretty good target for uh, for a slot machine. Like it's a legitimately great slot machine target. If somehow that all lines up. A slot machine on archives would be godly right now. Ooh, okay, we really need something on archives. Okay, that probably will just go there. All right, so we'll see where they sec test. If they sec test server one, we'll obviously pop it. And we can actually afford to res everything, I think. So this just basically turns off archives. Deuce is wild, so definitely on the Amakua. They know it's a Kakugo here. They might just go for the face check. It's going to be a slow match. Leela's really scary. And we actually could like just go ahead and... Uh, we're just doing that to make us spend four, but at least now it's res, so we, they can bounce it. I feel like that's actually in our advantage. They have to expose, they have to make a run though. That was a safe one. Like if it's a brainstorm there. Probably GG. So like we could name a program if we want to be like really sure and be like, fuck it, Amina, Amakua. They know there's a mouseless on HQ. They have to make a run. So the server dissolves so they actually don't get the bankroll credit. Oh, piss. No one home. That's a card. So, trace zero, unsuccessful, the runner avoids any number tags. Luckily we have more ice or more money than them. We're gonna get her to fire. She's a bit of a liability. They also might run HQ through the mouse list, but they need to install programs first because we can snipe them. And they also might be on flip switch, which would be kind of a big deal because then our face checks get less worse. At least flip switch, uh, you can actually, can you, what's the ruling with flip switch? Can you fire before the on encounter ability fires? Whoa, are we going for this? Okay. Oh, and they have a hunting grounds. Wow. They actually threw that out. Obukata on the top. House of Knives slot machine. <laughs> All right. So our complete image isn't. Oh, we have a complete image. Right. Right, 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 right. So they might do a trace here, which would be interesting. Uh, so we'll put. Genotyping at the bottom, then we'll do, what is this? Oh, that's a daily, that's good. House of Knives, Obakata. Now we'll do, uh... we can draw one. So there's Obakata on the top, that's fine. So they drew. That's an unknown card, so now this net damage has a chance to draw the unknown card. So I think drawing there might be wrong, because we can hit the Passport, we can hit the Inside Job or then Bezel. I feel like the Passport is probably the best, we have a Kogate on HQ. Find the Truth is also really cool. We can trash that, actually probably is the best one to trash. Whoa, Ranji, how's it going? Yeah, you can fire flip switch on approach before encountering. Okay, cool. So Find the Truth would be good. Passport obviously is okay, Inside Job is also really strong. I feel like Find the Truth, we have no way to deal with really well. So they could actually go ahead and fire no one home here. It looks like we'll find out. 
Oh, it's the first time. Oh, so they fired. They didn't do it, so they can't know one home there anymore. So we hit the passport inside job. Wow. So all they have in their hands is an embezzle. Good dude. Go, go, Kronos. Hey, thank you. Rashida getting trashed for free. So now we can install this, install the Obakata. I actually don't care if they have the Obakata. I feel like we want to go for the slow one. I just don't think we have enough money because all this ice is like seven plus credits. This is three, this is seven, seven. And we still need five for this. They can't find anyone home because the first time. Yeah, totally. I realized that. That's super cool. So the definitely on three inside jobs. Spear fishing here would also be pretty good. We've hit some pretty juicy targets. Oh, Humphrey's just staring out the window, real cute. Oh, how are you going to run with that? So we have a slot machine. We could jam that somewhere. Uh, we don't have any standard procedures, which actually might be good. This is actually really awkward. So if we draw once, I think we get into House of Knives. Which is actually fine where it is. Okay, hopefully they go for it. Spears 3 net. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess they can no one home it, but we do have more money than them. I really hope they run for this one. Go on R&D. So we get a res this, which is like the most important thing. So they have to put two cards on top of their stack. If you click on the card, it doesn't show us their cards. A lot of people fuck that up and they like do it manually. All right, they did it. So uh, end the run. So at least it's a res, so they can't bounce it, which is really good. And they put two cards back on top, so that's actually a pretty big temple loss when they're drawing for credits. Going for the doof, that's fine, because we have this here. And this is going to res this ice as well. So this is going to gain one credit. Do a net damage. So they can avoid if they want to, I don't think they will. Maybe if their hands are really good, they have more money than us. But it gives us a way to, uh, to dump our credits so they don't get diversion of funds. So it's between embezzle and falsified credentials. I think we're just going to hit the embezzle and then I'm going to go ahead and res this immediately. And they'll have a tag. Which, they already tag neck damage so they can't avoid it. So they can gain for four. They actually could access here too, but they can't steal. You can kill them next turn? No, we can't. They need to have three points scored for complete image. So we know they have an embezzle. We need to defeat them that. So they have an embez... What do they have? No, they have a falsified, excuse me. I think we just want to score the House of Knives. There's nothing really to bounce here. And I kind of want them to steal this. This is going pretty good. I don't want to jinx it, but we have good ice on every server. Sec testing archives, draw, draw. They can get bounce. Uh, we will have to discard a card when they bounce, which is awkward. But I think we don't need the genotyping. I keep thinking on my T the whole time. So they get to bounce that. I think we don't need this. All right, so that's really scary. This is also opens up Salem's really well. If they run last click, we know what's in their hand or even like on their turn if they don't install it. HQ technically is open, but we got one passport out. They might be on an Amina as well. Uh, wow, our ice is really expensive. It is really expensive. The no one home is the biggest deal because we they can complete image dodge it. So we have to do like neural and complete image, something like that. Or just have more money than them. I think keeping that no one home is going to save them a lot. Because they're just clicking for credits. And again, they have five on their bankrolls, so they have a lot of money. And we can only do this during a run. That's not money, but that's pretty good. It's actually probably better than this. So I think we're going to want to get this on HQ. We'll just click for credits. 22 credits left in their stack. They have to do something to make money. Dev Caddy is going to be pretty rough for us because the no one home is going to do a lot of work. So we neural and then into complete image. Crowdfunding coming down. I don't think it's going to be easy for them to make multiple runs. Miss Bones. I think there's nothing trashable in, in our deck that we doesn't cost less than one. Oh, that's actually really good. This will uh, advance. Advance. They have a falsified. I think I'm actually just going to res this. Running through this would be good, but I think they're going to falsify it. 
which would be even worse. Because then they don't have to run it. Maybe that's wrong. They have the, the Sentry Breaker. And we could randomly go for Salem's to be like, ah, fuck it. Do you have a, I don't know, Croder? Damara? Angolo? Once Angolo hits the table, we have no options. We could actually put just a bit of program destruction and Marcus Batty and have like a bunch of options. Another sec testing. Second Miss Bones. They really don't like assets. Don't feel like there's much to do here. I'm going to put this on HQ just because it bounces. Oh, that was on wrong. Sorry, I meant to say R&D. And then I also said HQ. And then I also did HQ. I love that the game has turned into Go Fish. Yep. Eventually, they'll run out of cards, right? Like, every time that they draw, it's harder and harder to steal a Bacate. Like, they're more than halfway through their deck. 20 cards left. So almost the falsified. Ooh, that's actually really good, worth knowing is that we know there's a falsified in there, which is like a, that bit of chip damage. Mind you, this card is pretty expensive. It's going to be really hard to, to get through no one home. We need to make them run. And this is our third NGO, which is good. We got all the NGOs and we threw out the genotyping, which sucks. Looks like they have 20. They have a lot of tech cards. Problems like clicking for credits on our side is a lot harder. And they're drawing. So they're actually throwing out two cards here? It's really good news for us. Dirty Laundry and a Falsified. Okay, so they played around our, our Kronos. Uh, Kumainu? Sai Santana is a... No, not that much better. This is actually probably better. Uh, so they don't have the MU. Sneak Door doesn't make that much sense with bankrolls. I think we actually can just click for three. Hopefully they get more impatient before we do. That's the thing is like cards like No One Home, I, I, they're 100% not on a dorm computer, but like those tech cards are really cheap. Ooh, Data Sucker. Playing around the Cortex Lock to some extent, but that means that they're looking to run. And we now have an agenda. I feel like we could jam here. Like they have to get through this and this and have four cards, so I think they run R&D or HQ this turn. I don't think they run the remote. Eleven cards left in stack. Special order. That's two more cards. Lamb coming down. Installed it as well. All right, so that's pretty scary. Nothing scored. Oh, and we're flooding a wee bit. So we're going to go ahead and score this and put us on game point. Would love this to be the SSL actually. So they get a bounce, we're gonna throw out two cards. NOH is an oof. What's NOH? What is an NOH? So we gotta throw some stuff out. So they're running HQ this turn. I'll throw out the Kumainu is not amazing. And actually, the slot machine's really good. The Kakugo though is obviously even better. So we have one more agenda in HQ than we want. At least the Obakata is almost nigh unstealable. If they have to land this, it's really expensive. It's like seven credits. Just hope they don't trust our good, good, good card. Oh, no one home. Oh, excuse me. Legwork. Ooh. N1H. That's better. All right. So they could land this. It's seven, I think. Oh, we're firing all. Okay, let's go. Do one net damage, so they can't steal the Obakata anymore. They could no one home this if they wanted to. They are, whatever, we'll just fucking house the knives them. Oh, this is really good for us. If they trash this though, obviously, that's a bit of a bad. Here's the runner tag. So we can see their hand, do a damage. We're almost definitely gonna have three points. All right, embezzle. Diversion of funds inside job. I feel like embezzle and diversion are both really bad. I feel like the diversion of funds is not that bad. I feel like the embezzle is actually worse. Stim hack is good for us. Did you see when it says successful, it highlighted the word success because it's a card? 
All right. What do we get? Oh, I need to remember what was in the hand. Kakugo, SSL. Okay. That's a bounce. That makes the other one harder, and they hit the Salamis. That's the best order. So, fuck. I forgot their hand. I was meant to remember their hand. What was their hand? I didn't remember. I forgot what we were doing. One unknown, two unknowns. Credit. Or move to egg. Hold the phone. What was in their hand? Oh, we can just find out. It's... Chat? It was Stimhack, Doof, and that was it. Okay, so let's talk about diversions. There's two of them. Okay, if they have two diversions in his hands, we have a legitimate chance of killing them. They've only played one. Okay, so we're going to say diversion of funds. If we hit two, we hit one. So they have crowdfunding, data sucker, inside job, stim hack. No, no taking. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so thinking. Okay, so basically if we hit the neural, we, uh, we kill whatever card we have. And then we have a one and three followed by a one and two. So our chances are half of 33%. So like what? 15 point, 16 point something. We have a 16 point something chance of winning the game straight out, which is not amazing. I think we can just probably wait them out a bit. Sorry, chat. 6.6 .6 repeating, of course. Uh, this is why you stream. No, no, we'll get a better one. You're right, we could have gone for it, but then we would have blown our entire load, which had been an issue. Weak sauce? Okay, chat. Come on. But they're down to three cards. Four cards, I don't know. They have an inside job. So we need to get the inside job out first. And I think we just jammed this and they can't steal it. Yeah, we're going to score our Oboe to win. But if they inside job the remote, they're not going to hit this. So they have to deal with Oboe, House of Knives, and Data Loop. Which might be too difficult. So they have to basically just slam at the top of R&D. They also did mill themselves, yeah. So I feel like we're favored. They just drew so fucking much. I have kind of a newbie question. Why would you ever choose to not take credits from SSL? Uh, it plays around cards like Beth, Kilrain, Chang. It plays around cards like Diversion of Funds. Like if you know you're going to be on five credits at end of time, at end of turn. That's all good. Um, there's, there's definitely some reasons, uh, Ludmilla. Sometimes you don't want to take SSL. Beth is probably the biggest deal. Technically, Super Corridor is also a card. So two cards go to the back. We could house the knives them here. I think we will just because we'll hit the inside job, which would be pretty sweet. We actually probably should have done it before. We'd get more value or get more information. Oh, so the fuck. Yeah, we should have done it before because now there's the inside job is tucked away on their deck. Uh, what's the worst here? Data, sucker doesn't matter. Sure gamble doesn't matter. These are all terrible. Yeah, we goofed it. Hold on, I need to take notes. <laughs> it was Paragon, Gamble, Sucker, Inside Job. I think we just jammed this though. Because if they steal this, they're 100% dead. I'm just going to get diversioned away if you take it, leave it. Go for the combo. Uh, I hope they steal this because then I think we do combo them. So they play another no one home. There's no way they run two no one home, right? There's no way. I guess matchup would have been so much better for them if they just didn't draw up a lot. 
The version? Oh, sorry, falsified. They're calling agenda. It is an agenda. Okay, so they traded the card for five credits. They know that that's the winning agenda. Nothing in HQ, so it's all about R&D. We've seen no multi-axis. Hushik doesn't make sense in this deck. Just always image first? No, I don't think always. Okay, so they're running. It's just a normal run. So we rest Thimble Rig. They have to lamb it, which is actually pretty cool for us. Oh, actually, we can just put lamb down a data loop, and then they can't get through the whole remote. I think we're going to do that. Or wait, do we just let them steal it so we can complete image? Yeah, we'll just let them steal it, right? Oh no, they jacked out. Okay, never mind, we win. Very good game. All right, the top of R&D was clear too. I'm sorry we didn't go for the combo, but it felt like we were in such a good spot that we didn't need to. You can swap that. Sorry? It's no one home, not no two home. Hey yo, let's go! Alright, so they drew through the deck a lot more than they needed to. They installed a bunch of cards that were like bad, and that's one of the things you don't want to be doing against Shinteki. If the cards matter, don't install them. Like security testing was not good this game. We iced up all centrals. Second security testing specifically, Miss Bones, not worth it. This bank roll also, because running was hard, is not worth it. And these are more hit points. And that's really good. Like, they threw out a lot of their cards, which, again, is one of the worst things they can do. That being said, the one-turn pressure from this data loop is really performing. Lamb can bait that change to barrier. Oh, for the swap? Yeah, this is only on the encounter, though. So they can... Yeah, totally. Yep. Yeah, so they knew... If they made this in a uh, 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 code game, we could have just swapped it. In theory, they should have just seen if we forgot. You had them locked out a remote with Nimble. Yeah, technically we did. Damaku actually mattered, in theory. Images terminal, yeah. You never open with that one. At some point, I probably will on accident. Okay, we're going to kill someone with a complete image. Just you wait. If you're just tuning in, by the way, my name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Vegetable Good. How's it going? We stream here. If you're new, by the way, around here, maybe you play Neverrunner recently. I'm going to adjust that. Oh, you get more cat in there. Uh, ask questions, say hello, um, meet people. I haven't said this in a while. I think it's really important. I've been meeting a lot of newer players to either like organize play or Neverrunner general. Oh, cool ads. So Argonar is in YouTube chat. They know what's up. So people keep pushing for Salem's in this combo. It's not because they want Nero 4 and 6. Isn't it because they want Nero 4 and 6? Shazner, how you doing? Welcome. It's not, okay. <laughs> Thanks. So this hand obviously could be a lot worse. Uh, it's, we want to wait for a single ice for the Rashida. We'll keep this though. Uh, HQ pressure from Criminal is a thing. 45 card deck. Generally, they're drawing through the deck too. Okay, so this is really good. I think we're just going to ice up. So we want the end to run on HQ. And we'll put the annoying one on R&D. We can res one of these. This still would be better with Replicator. Uh, yeah, you're right. Replicator with uh, Data Ward is really strong. Or sorry, whatever it's called. All right, Masterwork. I'm glad we're seeing new cards here. Flip Switch lets them jack out or remove a tag. Nothing against net damage. And then they have the crowdfunding as their card. Uh, as, mind you, lets you install resources or connections. And we know they're not a film critic because they are playing this. And that's okay. All right, we could install Advance Advance this. Uh, I feel like Mati, but I don't think that's bad at all. We could actually probably just draw an IPO. This is slower. This is actually probably bad. This card has so much more value when they're running through a piece of ice as opposed to doing it naked. I think this is strictly wrong. We should be drawing for ice to jam this behind ice. That being said, they just face check with ice. Oh, they're playing Blueberry Diesel. This is a filter card, not so much a draw card. Croder coming down, they understand. Uh, what kind of matchup this is. They need their programs. We can hit them. Oh, cool. We got to kill ads. <laughs> I like Rashida Remote more than R&D. Yeah, we could have not iced up R&D. I don't know what kind of deck they are. So far, we've seen, like, i got to play around Hushik. Stargate also could be a thing. I think we're going to start face checking. Yeah, that would have been so much better. I think we want to jam Rashida behind this, the tempo loss. I guess they flip switch it. That still feels good. I was playing Masterwork and Geist recently, like quite having an extra draw on the ID that draws so much. Yeah, I feel like you're going to run out of link options if you are playing the break and enter, which I wouldn't recommend, but you're right, Masterwork is really sweet. And Geist. 
especially if you can install like hardware on your on the corpse turn, which is not that difficult with like crowdfunding. Or sorry, Street Peddler. Rashida, let's go. Draw me an agenda. We didn't, but we can do show our whole hand to get all the money. And fucking dub, double data loop is gross. Data loop is actually a really cool card. It's playing pirate. Makes sense. Very true. Punitive could also be an issue because it might remove some of your card knowledge. Andre, do you think you can fit enhanced curfew in the deck? Oh, wow, yeah, we actually could. And maybe we play New Sound at that point. I don't know. New Sound's uh, it's probably not better than what we have. Yeah, Enhanced Curfew is really strong. It helps a lot. So here we go for the face checks. This is the data loop. Uh, they could break it to return two cards, which is a bit sketchy if we have Snare, which they know we don't. But they could just flip switch out of it, which I'd rather them flip switch this than like an Anansi. You have enough to res all our ice with one credit to spare. Hey, count it. And then we'll Rashida out of it. Our ice is expensive. At least the ice we drew. I really want this to fire so we know. Oh, they're going for it. Single axis cost them two cards. And f what? This is a, this ice got a bit better without a. Uh, what's it called? Okay, this one they're going to jack out of. Uh, a bit better without paperclip. All right, that's one down. They only have three of these. Go for server two. They also could be on the new card, uh, bring a backup plan or whatever the thing's called. Rashida here is not the best because we're going to overdraw a bit, so we're going to have to slam a bunch of cards down. Slot machine doesn't cost money, it makes money. Wait, I didn't wait. There's a chat delay. Don't they think the three damage for a Nazi? No, because they can do it on approach. When we res the ice, there is a paid ability window on the runner side, so they can jack out then. They can do it before encounter. Bachlan Botchkin is going to be a piss off. This has an on encounter. Uh, you can't jack out. So they're trying to farm counters off a of data loop, but they should have put two cards back. Yeah, punitive is cool in this list. All right, well they did it on accident. They they're doing it the wrong way. They showed us crowdfunding falsified. So whatever. All right, so turning wheel is going to be a problem. Drawing into a turning wheel is a bit rough. Ooh. All right, so we're going to make it so they can't farm turning wheel counters off of this thing uh, by icing up everything. So this on HQ is cute. This on R&D is cute. And we'll just take a bit more money and next turn we'll jam. I didn't realize the flip switch with turning wheel combo. It's cool. It's, it's, you can't, it's not like sustainable, but it's not bad. Same with Bachlin, right? But Bachlin, you actually have to encounter the ice. So if they encounter the Anansi to get the, the Bachlin credit, and then they fly or flip switch, then they'll take the three net damage. If they de-res it, they don't. But they'll need five counters for that, which is not that much. Like, it's pretty good. And if they use their flip switch to, rem to remove net damage, the tag is not that bad. I think we're just going to jam Obakata next turn, because it's good. As long as we probably just want to jam the SSL, it's probably better for a board state. Or else today that Lucky Charm plus Persephone plus Plung Egret is greater jank. Egret rotated, Corey. But you could do uh Yo fuck, we gotta look into that Persephone plus uh Plungi. Oh I get Plungi Egret, yeah, yeah, right. That's hot. Alright, so they have no way of stealing this, so I think we'll go for the credits. Or do we go for the sure gamble? We'll go for the sure gamble. I would drop the Neural for Enhanced. Neural seems really good though. Like Neural is just good. Amakua coming down. We took out IP blocks. Running Archives. I'm going to make the three runs. We definitely want to get something there. What? <laughs> Spicy! Acacia coming down for one credit drawing a card. This actually lets them draw mid run, but it costs them a card from hand. So this is going to bring the crowdfunding back. I'm not that worried about it. We actually could just put an ice here. If we draw like a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, that's fine. So we could purge, they gain three credits. Well, we can purge next turn. It's not particularly great. So what do we want to put this on? This feels like overkill. Yopi is so good against the field right now. Screws of crowdfunding. It's okay, it's too influenced though. I can share my Persephone Plunge just mid or mill deck if you're interested, 100% interested. 
I saw someone do Persephone eager against Dan a couple weeks back. Three Persephone against a slot machine mailed a lot of cards. Oh, slot machine's so good for Persephone. Fuck. Yeah, we used to play Persephone Egret on this deck. Oh, on this channel. We did it a while ago. Man, we need to give them a three-pointer. Like, literally install this naked, because then the way that they're doing their hand management would be such an issue. Do we want to install this so next turn we can purge? No, next turn we'll score. So we'll install this anyways. Where does it go? The server's really good. The server's really good. They're, all the servers are really good. I never right. This deck would be the happiest possible to see Eula. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, because you have to pass the ice. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, right, right. So you just pay the six. Well, Humphrey's sleeping really nice. Doesn't care that I'm so loud. Thanks, cat. Are people playing Eula in your meta? I don't see a lot of Eula. Yeah, look at that sweet cat. Humphrey, hanging out. So Humphrey was here last time my sister was over for a holiday and just would hang out on the couch if I was here. Just like playing video games, sleeping. Throwing it, oh, putting Bugalter on the table. Seems good. Might want to go for that cheeky face check. We're going to score next turn going down to 14 credits. Obviously, I do wish that was the SSL. Enforced. Yeah, enforced, enforced. Drop the neural for enforced. Enforced. Oh. All right. So this, they have three cards in hand. So they actually only break this for one credit. Actually, they break it for free with Cyber Feeder. So I don't honestly think we res this one. The, um, this is eventually going to be annoying. Oh, Kakugo would be good. I think we're just going to go ahead and score this. I hate scoring this. It puts us poor. But this is pretty safe. We did it backwards. We definitely wanted to score the SSL. First curfew is guaranteed kill with Salem's or 50-50 with us, assuming there's one card known. Yeah, I think in first curfew definitely wants a slot in this deck. I think it's really good. Botchkin sort of killed it. Oh yeah, totally. Botchkin did kill it. Yeah, Botchkin's annoying. So that should have a flip switch. I think we're on a purge. Like, I don't care if they get four credits. They spent one for this. I think I go run a couple times and then run R&D once they have five. This card's one influence. Install flip switch. So is it is the click worth a credit? Maybe. We'll still res it. This gives us information, which is what we want for neural and everything. Let's go. Roll them bones. Cyber, hi, cyber feeder, spear fishing, Amakua. Okay, so only lose three. They can break it for one, though. They probably want to. Not too bad. Anansi, break for three. So next turn, we definitely purge. They should also be taking their cyber feeder credits. And they should be getting Bachlin, too. So it's not automatic. Okay, they took their cyber feeder. Is Bachlin not automatic? So cyber feeder spear fishing. Okay, they're doing it there. Cyber feeder spear fishing Amakua. You gotta remember this sort of stuff. Turning wheel, get a count, and they have a big turning wheel coming up. They only have three credits though. I still think the purge is so good. This ice here is a liability. Good, that's a good card to throw out. So we're just gonna go ahead and purge. So they can take four credits or whatever, five credits. I won't throw this one out. This is not a very good card. I, I don't want to play uh, Kamani in this deck. They can de-res a Kakugo too, which is like, okay. But like, they basically lose a flip switch doing it. <laughs> Another one. Is this card okay? I don't know. It's not the worst. I guess you need cheap programs. Or cheap hardware. All right, the credit differentials are sliding a wee bit. And they drew. So they have a cyber feeder in hand, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just gonna ice up everything so everything's actually really annoying. Yeah, fuck my new. 
Okay, so... 22 cards left. They're also drawing heavily through his deck, and, like, Masterwork doesn't give them a chance. So there's a Cyber Feeder. So now, what are the other ones we knew? God, there's a Spear Fishing Hand. Caddy coming down. That's infinite money. Generally pretty good. Well, that's good, too. I don't think we want to jam the Rashida. Because we don't want to draw a lot here. So we need 7, 3, 7. So we need 17 credits for the remote. Uh, which is a lot of credits. Um... This will rob them. If they spearfish this one, it's fine. What does spearfishing even say? Hold on. Spearfishing? Like, I think they still encounter it. When you encounter. So they still have to put two cards on the bottom. Whatever, I'll set up. I think they falsified this as an asset. Yeah, double loop seems pretty good. Keep an eye for Hushik. Oh, they could be on Hushuk, but a lot of their one-costers are, like, transient. So I don't know. We've seen a fair bit of influence? Like, there's probably two of these, three of these, three of these, one of two of those. So I don't think they can be on Hushuk. They don't have to put two cards on the bottom. Both of them countered fire at the same time. Uh... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. They can Hushuk for two. Oh, yeah, this one's transient, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, so we're gonna find out what those cards are. One of the cards is actually gonna get shuffled to the bottom, which is really cute. Our money's gonna go low though, and they can start like pressuring HQ. If we don't res this, they can uh, get value. Because they can just bounce off this for training wheel. Runners resolve first and then, yeah, right. Like you can inside job. Uh... I'm thinking of a Nazi. For a Nazi would fire. Crutter Masterwork, Feeder, Feeder, Wheel, Caddy is for six. Yeah, they have a lot of twos. Two, two, two. Two, two. Ooh. Ooh. Roll them bones. Program, program event. All right. So there's Amakua. Amakua, special order. That's really good for Salem's. Amakua, Amakua, special order. And this they break for five. Didn't they pick the order of encountering when spearfishing? They choose a bypass? Yeah, totally, Jeff. How's it going, by the way? I fucked that up. So they can't steal Obakata. They jacked out. I think they just want turning wheel counters. They score you're on a 50-50 win, yeah. Yeah, we are. I gotta take notes. This will be so hard to play at a tournament. Ooh, Archive Memories is actually really interesting. I think we do just advance advance here, credit. We need 10 for this, plus 3 to score, so that's exactly 13. He didn't do the data loop? No, they did. Roketa, how's it going? Yeah, Sargonar did the data loop. They put two Amakuas on top. Or an Amaku and something else, because one went to the bottom. So it's Amaku, Amaku, the spear fishing. Here we go. Oh, you're going to take the damage. Uh, just as a heads up. Oh, wait, they can de res that. I don't know why. This actually will fire, right? A Nazi fires with an in special order and inside job. They could just like botchkin this though. Like I don't think they need to do this. They may not spear fishing in case it's a Nazi. Yeah, okay. But they only need five cards for a Nazi. Like I think they just botchkin this. Like they'll get the fifth one. They just trashed a card? How do you do that? Huh? You can undo that. I used to watch on YouTube at Celestial Spark. Oh, yeah, no way. Just here on Twitch since I have a notification add-on for Twitch streams to catch news easier. Oh, hey, welcome to Twitch side. I remember that name. How's it going, Spark? 
All right, so the spear fishing, they just moved back in their hand from the temporary zone. Four clicks, nine credits. Botchkin to five, though. They can just de-res the, the Nazi, which actually be pretty mean. Man, slot machine does work. Slot machine's fine. So they drew two Amakuas. Fortunately, we don't have any teeth because they're not scoring agendas. Caddy Jones, I think. Oh, fuck. They would have trashed that and felt good. Man, loop makes the memorization so much tougher. It does. It really does. I think we're going to score this. I think we actually throw out the second complete image. We have an archive in hand. That's a trash, but we don't like those. And we're now on game point. Uh, I like the other cards a lot better. Cuckoo Go is always good. And they haven't played any HQ pressure cards like do for anything. Special order. Okay, so they shuffled their deck. Abignail coming down. So now they can bypass code gates. Honestly, like, Abignailing a slot machine is brutal. Oh. Do we just jam this and maybe win? I guess so. It's pretty low risk. Like, this server is still pretty gross. And then maybe we can just do like neural, 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 archive, neural if they get through the server poorly somehow. You don't value neural as Kronos just to hit key cards early? No, I'm not. Because we really need it for the win combo. And I promised chat we'd do a complete image combo. Maybe we could. But like they've been really good. Like Sarknar has been like install Croder, like click one to be like, oh, I'm not fucking, don't touch me. So like I don't think there's any key cards we want to hit that bad. We've also seen a couple of their stuff. In a different sort of deck, I would. All right, they're drawing up a lot. So it looks like we're going to lose this one, unfortunately. Maybe Rashida in there would be better. All right, so two cards from the grip. Stack's getting bigger. When you complete image, having one neural makes no difference as long as you name one card in their hand. No, it 100% makes a difference. It shows you the hand. Like, that's the problem is we have to complete image blindly. So you neural to hit a card and then you complete image because now you know what's in hand. It's 100% super important. Okay, take a credit. Yeah, no, neural helps a lot with the complete image combo. Complete image will show you their hand on the first card as long as you name one card. Yeah, but we need to know cards in the hand. And like right now, I don't think we know any. So daily cast, event, resources. So they can choose to break it. So daily cast, falsified, crowdfunding. Yeah, Cronus is only the first hit. It does matter. Am I fucking it up? Daily cast, falsified, crowdfunding. Like we hit Neural, and then we see their hand and we do one damage. Now we know every card in the hand, so we can play damage. So if there's two cards, it's a 50-50. Are we doing it? Oh, you don't waste the image damage? We do waste the image damage, you're right. The image damage is stronger with complete image. You're correct about that. It feels bad losing this. You only need to know one card through, though, is what I'm saying. You get to see the rest during complete image. Yeah, that's true. But it's hard. Like, if we don't have Salems, it's hard. If you hit a loop, have two cards in hand early, I mean, just lethal. Yeah. I just wish we could fucking give them a three-pointer. This is where, like, having the install advance... Man, actually, Gene's Place would be so good in this deck, because we have all these, like, data loops. So what's on top of their deck? Stream pressures, I think. <laughs> daily cast, falsified crowdfunding. Okay, I'll remember that. So they have daily casts. That's it. So we can't really hurt them. We'll take the money. Right? Like in theory, we could do Salems. If they have two daily casts, we can't kill them. This goes on the server no matter what. So next is Falsified. So if they, once they draw, we'll res this. They don't have daily cast though. Yeah, they do, don't they? Didn't they just drew that? And they just drew last. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they looped cards back. Oh, God. This combo is bad. Uh, so, like, we can Neural to see their hand, and then just, like, Salem's the last card. Feels mediocre. Neural Complete Image has a 50% win chance. Yeah, but they need three agenda points for us to be able to play Complete Image. So we can't actually play it. 
They also forgot to take their Bachkin 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 Bachkin, which is a pretty big deficit for them. I feel like Archive Memories is really good. I just know what we were doing before. This is probably okay. I think we draw an Obukata, we jam and win. Salem's cast? No, but because they put two cards back, they 100% don't have cast. Because this one fired. So the cast is now one more card down. Or two more cards. Top card, then casts, then falsified. Yeah, Neural will give us info, but then we can't finish it off with complete image. Oh, fuck. They're doing it. All right, they remembered that they can put eight on here. All right, now cast is on top. Falsified credentials. So this, we got back. <laughs> Daily cast, falsified credentials. We got back to the place. So resource, event, resource. We're firing it all? I take it. We are. Man, these have printed a lot of money. Jacking out. So now they have a falsified. No, now they just do a daily cast. <laughs> so the falsified goes to the bottom. So now it's resource crowdfunding contaminate acacia. Crowdfunding contaminate acacia. So it's only lose three credits. All right. They're just building a big old turning wheel. So drawing a lot into HQ is a bit dodgy. But they need to be drawing cards. Are they going to derez this? I think they do. Because they can see four cards here. They can steal Obakata, which is annoying. They're going to take a tag, though, which they can clear either for free or flip switch. So if they steal an agenda here, we have a pretty good chance of winning because we know daily casts is in hand. If they steal Obakata, they die. Fuck! <laughs> no, that's okay, I think. What? Why are we doing damage? Oh, we actually want to leave the spear fishing because uh, we can Cronus it or we Salem's it. Do they steal an Obakata? Oh, GG. So GG. We gotta complete damage it! They shouldn't have done that, obviously. Uh, we're gonna Salem's their hand. Okay, wait, how do we do this? We're gonna Salem's their hand so we can actually get the complete image kill. So here we're gonna name... Uh, it's not Amaku. Amaku is on the bottom. Cyber feeder. Did we trash these yet? We see their hand. It's a crowdfunding. I think we actually we should have known that. So we're gonna do complete image as a terminal. We're gonna name crowdfunding. So we're gonna hit with a damage. Chronos doesn't actually matter. And then wait, what? Why doesn't it repeat? Why are we? Why didn't it repeat? Why? Why didn't it repeat? Where did Humphrey go? Why didn't it repeat? No, it's all good. Why aren't you dead? Why didn't they die? What happened, chat? I wanted to name Az, yeah. This is the most antique. Yeah! What's up, Tobal? Well, they conceded. It's not a flat line. What happened? Saying that? Oh, okay. Well, we know it's possible. And then, yeah, you name Az McCaffrey to get that lethal kill. Yeah, terminal second click is legit, yo. We could have killed with Neural too, but like that's not the point. We got a complete image kill. It's only 11. We can do another game. Might not be coded. Wesley, how's it going? Yeah, it might not be. Artem, how's it going? I think it's been entered as a bug on the GitHub. Oh, perfect. Good to hear. Thank you. Also, welcome to the chat. Hey, thanks. You too. All right. If you're just tuning in, this is what the splash looks like. And that's pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm going to go and check where the cat is. Because I'm worried it's going to eat things it's not meant to eat. Uh, but I'll be right back. It's with Cronus specifically. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, here, one second. Humphrey, where'd you go? Are we Ha <laughs> ha
Nice up there. Oh. By the way, Andre, is Metro Grid at Gmail the right email address to reach you? I found that on YouTube. Yeah, totally. Uh, I'll, I, I don't check it that often, <laughs> admittedly, but uh, it should be. Is it really a bug? It's terminal. They had no cards to name. No, it should be fine. I love that cat. Oh, Milo. He's gone. Maybe he's a back. I don't know. Hey, let's do another one of these. I think we might have, depending on how long the game is, maybe we have time for one or two. And despite the fact that like we have a complete image deck, even like the grinder aspect or like the, the sort of like try to steal behind data wards is actually pretty difficult. And I like it. Or poop on the floor? No, they have a litter box. He has a litter box. Humphrey's good. I'm confused. Name a card, then do one damage. If you trash a copy, then name card, repeat this process. No cards, how do you get the kill? Well, because I trash crowdfunding, so we repeat the process. So then we name anything as McCaffrey, and then the last one kills no matter what. You bet. So, right? So, like, you name a card, you name the final card, and then you get the repeat. So then the repeat kills. That's me. It might not be the most intuitive. Ooh, Reyna. We have expensive ice. Hand has enough money in it that we'll keep it. Stargate would be a bit rough. Stargate's so rough. But we'll keep it. Even if they steal SSL, like, we're laughing because Complete Image is online and we have Nightmare credits. Which is good against Reyna. Reyna's interesting right now. I think Nexus Reyna might come back. Oh, that's ideal. So this res six, mind you, Reina Roja, the first res cost of an ice each turn is one more credit, which is a real tax when we have some pretty expensive ice in our deck. It basically increases the, the res cost of every ice in your deck by one if they play it pretty sparingly. Luckily though, we have money. If that doesn't work, you get the kill by pop pooping on the floor like Rick. <laughs> Yo, that's the cat kill. There's a garden now on like the dresser over there just because the cat couldn't be trusted alone with plants. Oh man. I think I'm pretty here for like a whole week. Paperclip, restricted card, mind you. That's good to know. Coming down, respecting the arc lockdown. Uh, do we want to res this for nine credits right now? Not really. Don't run amuck us. Two cards in hand, one of them being agenda, not that bad. P with the new stuff. Uh, this is, it's been fun. And they're also playing, like, that's one of the punishing things about Complete Image, the more of a conventional deck, and fuck me, David, we're never resing this. Uh, the more conventional of a deck that they play, uh, the better this is. So we can res this for nine credits for nothing. Roll me, son. Uh, I'd rather them use this on the slot machine or something. Not enough link cards. Yeah. Well, I don't even think you need that much link. It just means you can't run like the 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 underworld context package. If we draw a complete image, we can maybe kill them. If they steal this. Dirty laundry archives. No Matima Kundo ability. Seems bad. Uh, I think we may, David with clone ship is going to be a big issue. A lot of rice is really big and that's all it has going for it. Cool thing is the data ward is actually four strength. Uh, but they do paperclip through it for like three credits. Yeah, that's going to be a big issue. They're really good against big ice. Draw us and end the run. Not exactly what we wanted. Maybe Rashida too will work. They also have to trash their David if they want to clone chip it, which might be a bit of effort. And we're not running our clock down, obviously, but it was an option. Liberated, they're just playing good old stuff. The Kakugo is good. This is good because they actually get through two pieces of ice, which costs us, like, what, 16 credits? But uh, otherwise, we're laughing. The order is bad. If this was on the outside... Oh, fuck me, Palangi. God, Palangi is my least favorite thing. Palangi is no fun. They just clone ship this shit. Hippo, we're gonna have huge issues. Like they could just Palangi paperclip this if they wanna save their counters. 
We're basically gonna have to kill them. I've had worse as an issue. You want a Salem's hospitality? I've had worse. It's about Nazi from a while away. Yeah, I think we just purge next turn. So they have a choice here. They could use a Palangi and then spend, like, what? Four? Which I honestly think is better than the David. Yeah. I still think we're purging. I think these servers are now really risky. We have a single thimble rig. I'm purging. So now they have to overinstall their Palangi to get into the trash. 30 cards left. And it's so hard to res ice with a, a hippo. Okay, <laughs> now we can consider it. But we really need a thimble rig. I just don't think we have enough ice to commit. So we can never res this stuff, but it protects the inside. Oh, this is going to be really hard. We just don't have enough ice? I guess maybe we do. But we don't have enough things to jam. I guess if we install advanced events in the uh, NGO. But they need to install it over the Palangi and then they just clone ship it back. We have a lot of barriers in the deck. Actually, maybe we only have six. What the fuck? Uzazi? Interesting. That with Palangi is kind of cool. If this is an Obakata, we could give it to them. Actually, we could maybe just give this to them. There's a small chance that they steal this, we win. It's really small. It's a very small chance that they steal this, we win. I love this Enric deck. This card seems suspicious. It's also 2 MU. But everything else seems really cool. I think Clone Chip Palangi is crazy. I've at worst also have no knowledge. No, we don't have any knowledge. But then we can Neural for knowledge. Neural for knowledge. But it also just turns us on for the rest of the game. So if we do Salem's at any point, we can do Salem's Neural. Complete. They're drawing up. Do they, they know what we're up to. I think we get fucked here. I don't know why they're drawing up so much. Looking for breakers? They don't have MU. I don't know what they're drawing into. Probably thinking NGO? Maybe. I haven't experienced the combo yet. It's not, it's not really a thing. With Kronos. I don't know what they're talking about. There's no combo. What are they talking about? Just steal it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they think it's Obakata. I'm not going to correct them. I think Blur's blind now. What's in my hand? Let's still get the first hit guaranteed. Yep. I bet worse is going to be obviously a huge issue. At that point, we don't know what we're doing. I would like to score this three pointer. I think I'm just going to run last click. Oh, okay. Nob Kiri with the fucking Mizazi. Man, that's wild. Oh, we have the Obakata. That's good. So this is scored. That's cool. That's nine credits. It's a good card. So we still haven't seen any I've had worst yet. If they're ready, they should hoard it. But like their board state is disgusting. I think they're going to run Centrals this turn. And I don't want to lose a Kakugo to, uh, to a Hippo, but I think we just don't res it and just get the slot machines to fire. Mazazi, ooh, this is actually gonna fire. Then Kamino is actually gonna fire. Or they could Palangi it and then break it with Paperclip, but that's actually pretty inefficient. And then they have to trash one of their cards. Oh no, they have three MU. Oh my god, I fucking hate Palangi so much. Nothing matters with Palangi. 
<laughs> that was six credits, so that's actually okay. So Nob Kiri puts a counter on this. The thing is, like, we're purging. That's the problem with playing Polongi plus other things. Like, I'm just going to purge this train. You're going to get no Polongi value. But Polongi and Kiri, we talked about this earlier. I wanted to try this combo. It seems gross. And especially with Paperclip. Maybe Paperclip is better than Yusuf, but, like, that's really good. They've already used Polongi once, so this actually is going to be good. Rolling Bones, hardware event program, clone chip, I've had worse coming up into Paperclip. So they could break one of these with David. That's really brave that they're running this. I guess with Mizazi they can break most stuff. Wow, okay, so now the Nancy gets a wee bit better. Are they apocalypsing us? No, there's definitely no way. They have way too much stuff installed. Single axis. Clone chip, I've had worse, Paperclip. Clone chip, I've had worse, Paperclip. That's all we know. So we definitely purge. Like, this gets so much value. I think we throw out Rashida, unfortunately. Actually, no. We'll see what we draw. Why is this Reyna? No idea. Oh, fuck. That's good. I think we're actually going to throw out Rashida. Yeah, like, that's so much value from purging. We need ice up archives, though. I feel like Rashida Hunt, unfortunately, is the worst card in their hand. Yeah, because now they make a successful run to get the Plongi back. Fuck me, Nobkiri Plongi is disgusting. Oh! So this is going to put the top card that I already forgot about. So this is now I've had worse Paperclip Liberty accounts. So still, just three credits. They could David it if they wanted to. They are. They didn't even wait for the fire. Yeah, we can't purge. We need to get an ice on archives. We need to know where the iPad worse is. I think it's random because it's just pressure from like Hippo and like this. So like it's hard for us to res a lot of ice. Giving us an ice. Oh, thank you. Oh man, this on Archives feels real bad. Probably shouldn't put that on Archives. Extra text and ice destruction go well together. Yeah, I believe that's right. Plongi makes it even worse. Fuck you, Plongi. So we can res this for eight. And then they just hippo it. I just don't see why they're playing this card. This one doesn't seem good. It's like seven subroutines to break. I think we actually res a Kakugo here. You can't res it? Data loop? Yeah, we can. Why not? Same old thing also means they're probably on Cutlery. I think we res this. I'm thinking about it. It's five, put this on nine. It'll be a 12 next turn. Nah, it seems too good. So this puts the I've had worse at the bottom of their deck. Program resource event. So it's paperclip liberated cans resource. So okay, well they broke that. They'll hippo it for sure. But like, eh. Can't have everything. So it's paperclip liberated I've had worse. Yo got trashed. That'd be a really good draw right now. But yeah, this is like a shit ton of counters. You need three to break, four to boost, it's seven? So I guess they have to like Plongi this. Why can't they Hippo the Kakugo? Why not? No, they could Hippo it. Why not? So what's our plays here? Salms, we know nothing. Whatever, we'll try it. We just trashed an NGO. So when I've had worse is on the bottom. This puts two cards down, which is really good. It costs us eight. 
Like I said, seven, which is enough for four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, fuck, we're actually credit short. Rejig. <laughs> oh, that's fucking rad. So they just drew a paperclip? So we resist it's eight. Yeah, that leaves us on seven, and we need four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You have some knowledge? Yeah, we know the Nexus Liberty counts and then iPad wears. They just drew a paperclip. I don't know what they mean I had these backwards. So they just drew a Liberty account. Whoa. Okay. I feel like this is a worse card, but they trash our complete image. It's gonna be really hard to win. I did that on accident. Sorry about that white screen. Ditch the SSL. They run archives though for Palangi. Resource program hardware. Turning wheel. Paperclip. So they have an I've had worse on the bottom of their deck. Two I've had worse on the bottom two cards of their stack. That's nuts. That's really nuts. It's good if they steal it. Yeah, but it's good if they steal from HQ as well. No? Wait, no, they drew a lot. They have an iPad words, right? Yeah, so they have the iPad words in it. It was Clippy Liberty iPad words. Yep. Yeah, it so they missed. So apparently they don't have the iPad worse. I didn't keep enough track. I think both iPad worse are the bottom two cards of the stack. Yeah, maybe turning this off would be good. Because we get the credits. Fuck. Hate when they score that. Now they we know that they're they know we're on one pointers. There's a chance actually just running another three pointers better than House of Knives, but you can sneak out House of Knives. The thing is, if they steal the second House of Knives, it doesn't help them win. And we know they're not on turntable. I think they run HQ here. Yeah, Silence is good for Ivad Wars, but they lost both of them. We know they have a paperclip, we know they've liberated. So basically, they have fewer cards. Turning wheel. Okay, that's a problem. Because if we don't res, they can just jack out. Oh, that's good to see. So we want them to use a hippo on this, I guess. There must be another spice card in here. How is it going, Zach? You can scare them now with Neural Sounds install House of Knives. I don't know, I think it would scare them though. I don't see why they would be scared. Like this looks like a Rashida. Like I think we need this for the kill. All right, they're going for it. So we'll res this. They can choose to hippo this, it's fine. We have enough money for the combo. They know it's not Rashida? Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> SSL here would be pretty good. Oh yeah, we can't neural them. SSL here would have been way better than this. Oh man, SSL here would have been fantastic. I think we should have SSL here. Flag buys us a slot, but it's nowhere near as good as House of Knives. Yeah, House of Knives is really good when we score it. And it doesn't, oh yeah, it buys us one slot. Hey Humphrey, what's up? Meow. I, I hear you. I think that's a compelling argument. All right, so I have to score a three pointer and kill. I think about it a second. If you Salem's Neural Complete Image, the Neural consumes the Chrome's project to do one damage. If you skip the Neural Complete Image, use the Chrome's project to be guaranteed. It's not guaranteed because you name the card before you hit. So you need to have knowledge about the hand. Raketha. Otherwise, I agree with you. As long as you have one knowledge of one card in their hand, which we don't because they could have put the Liberated. I guess now we do. We'd have to guess. Oh, fuck me. 
We do. This sucks. You got the knowledge from Salem's. Two points, no kill, purge. I think we purge and throw it in SSL. But like we can't res this in place. Oh, that's really bad. I think a day loop is great, Terrence. I think this matchup it makes it really bad. Hippo is terrible with it, let alone paying eight credits for it. It's a lot worse. Humphrey, what'd you find behind the chair? I feel like we have a game last itself. No, oh no 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 no, buddy, no. Scratch the chair. Ah, Dinga scratches the chair. Cat. All right. If we do install advance, advance. And if they score it, it's the best chance we have to win. We just talked about this. <laughs> Stop. Fucking Jag. Come on. I feel like we're going for it. We're beyond nine credits. Andre, did you always have a cat or is this new? It's my sister's cat. She's visiting for the long weekend. I've never had a cat. I've never had a pet actually. It's really cool to have a cat. <laughs> Hold on for you, please. Oh, he's got the combo. I don't know about that. If you AA did steal and have five cards in hand? Uh, yeah. But they have to break this. They also think it's an Obakata. Loop just ruins the slot machine card knowledge? It enhances it. No, you're right. But I think we just shouldn't have them both on the same server. Gotta put a blanket on the chair? Yeah, probably. I think I just gotta bring the scratching post out here so that there's a closer target. The thing is, even if they steal this, oh wait, if they run archives, we lose. Yeah, the f problem is that the winning agenda is in archives. They run archives, they run server one. Like, they run archives so that they can get a, a Palangi counter, we lose. So I think we definitely should have thrown out a complete image. I don't know, they could. Mother has left me, I will scratch this chair and protest. I don't know where she went, where he went. Where did he go? Oh, whatever, we'll find him after. Yeah, I think we're fucked here. Could just be an NGO. Let the cat play? I'm fine with the cat playing. Cat's probably pretty good. The cat's not bad in that runner. If it's Obo, I lose. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll win. We'll win. We'll 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 hit. We'll kill them. Oh, one second. Hold on. What the fuck was that? I heard a really loud noise. He's on the roof of the the cabinets. We got up there. Yeah, we're gonna complete image it. So Gene Splicer would be fan fucking fantastic here. But they still are not on three points. I think this deck wants Gene Splicer real bad. If this was also Oboe, we have been so good. Spreading out the Davids, that's pretty fun. All right, chat, we need to find a card that there's two of in their hand. Meow. Double David. Okay, so we need to land a lot of shit. Humphrey, are you stuck up there? Okay, that was the third paperclip. Okay, chat, what are we naming? There's one Liberated, one Daily Dirty Laundry, one Sure Gamble, one Daily Cast, so we don't have a good read on this deck. Um, we want to Salem's first, for sure, but we needed to hit a card largely. 
Knob Curie? Yeah, there's probably two Knob Curie, but like, what's a three of we haven't seen? We haven't seen Restricted Card. Crowdfunding would kind of make sense, but no, they have way too much influence for that. You Neural first so you know everything? Is that correct? Yeah, I think you're right. We definitely Neural first because it's never random. Yeah, hold on. We Neural first, right? Yeah, we Neural first. Hippo's good. Yeah, fuck it. We'll Neural first. We can kill them. We don't have a, a worse chance of killing them. Oh man, if that was an avocado. It's a 50-50? So it's career fair dirty laundry. Chat. You ready for this? We going fair or laundry? Fair or laundry? Chat's going laundry. Okay, chat's all in. Chat, this is for you. Cannot find card named Reina Roja. Try harder. <sighs> Not even close. Yeah, that's the 50 50. Oh, yes. Count it. 11.35 right on time as well. That's real good still. Yeah, no, nah, I'll take it. Yeah, if they didn't have double hippo. If you chucked the hippo, not the paperclip at the end, so much harder. Yeah, they you basically, when you play against that, you don't want to have two of the same card in their hand. So they chucked at the end of the turn a paperclip. If they chucked the hippo, they'd have five unique cards. So the Salons would have done two damage. So they could have played that more optimally, which made it a lot harder. But fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, you need the full name. Excuse me, I need to write Reina Roja Freedom Fighter. Or Gabriel Santiago, Freedom Fighter, I was it well. I wasn't really sure if you would be able to pull a combo off if I had. Yeah, not the easiest. Hungry, hungry hippos. I was like, oh, Hicks fix. Very hungry as well. You sell him zip. Yeah. But two of your I had worse are on bottom of deck, so I don't mind too much. Oh, count it! <laughs> that was really fun. I'm glad that worked out. I have a third one. Well, yes. Of course you do. Hold on, one of these buttons does it. That was insane. Hey, glad that worked out. <laughs>